Hello. Uh, my name is Spicy Buns. Uh, I run New Pokemon Snap. Uh, my commentator is uh, Miss Candy Rhea, also known as Candy. Um, and I'm really glad to be here. Uh, thank you guys for having me here. I'm really happy to be doing this run. Uh, it is a little bit of a long run, uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, really fun, really cute. All the Pokemon are very cute. Uh, and yeah, hello. Um, anything you want to say, Candy? Who is ready for Pokemon Snap? Cause I'm excited. Woo! After Yay. 20 some years from the first Pokemon Snap, we finally got a new Snap. So let's get going. Yep. Okay, so basically what I'm going to be doing now is just setting stuff up. Um, uh, this run is normally played in Japanese to make it a little bit faster. So around 30 seconds faster. But today I'm going to be playing in English. I've been practicing in Japanese, but also um, I'm not really that um, into Japanese. So I'm going to be doing it in English also for y'all to be able to he uh, like look it while uh, you can read some of the, some of the lines. No voices because that's um, that helps a little bit with time saving. And I always choose this girl. I don't know why. Normally just another girl. But when I'm doing speed running, I choose that one. Um, I find her really cute. And uh, yeah, this is where we start. So I'm going to be counting down and we're going to be starting this in three, two, one, go. Let's go. Okay, so welcome to Pokemon Snap. We have this little girl that's coming in here ready for a new adventure and taking pictures. And that's me. That's us. <laughs> um, there's a lot of mashing in this game, actually. Um, because we have a lot of cutscenes that we have to go through and like a lot of um, text. But it's worth it. If you see all the Pokemon that are in this game, like they're so freaking cute. Like, look at this. Look at this Stoutland. It's so cute. Uh, the first part, we have the tutorial. The tutorial also count in the, in the splits. So we are gonna have a bunch of cutscenes that we, you just watched and then we need like there's some stages that you need to just wait and then watch the cutscene and then skip some things. At the very beginning you're just gonna learn how to snap Pokemon. So Professor's like, oh you're gonna snap Pokemon, so let's snap Pokemon. Let's we're gonna snap give some Pokemon. He's gonna give us a camera that's not exactly a camera, it's a cell phone camera. It's like, oh, let's go take pictures. But Yes. It looks pretty fancy though, look at that. Yeah. Very, very fancy. Um, and uh, about tutorials, the first tutorial is the only tutorial that we can skip. So we're going to have to go through that, which is basically just learning how to take the pictures and how to zoom and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that right now. Oh my gosh, that's a bazillion. And we just took a picture of it. And now it's telling us that we can move the camera. I will just be looking up because I haven't done this before, but apparently it does save a little bit of a lag reduction. Um, I'm not really sure, but I trust the people that I asked. Um, okay, now we see Pikachu coming in. Pikachu is my favorite. It's so cute. Look at it. We're going to line it up with Pikachu. We're going to take a picture. It's too small, so we gotta make it bigger. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. <laughs> I definitely agree. Oh my gosh. Okay, all the now Pokemon. They're, uh, we're getting told how to choose all the pictures um, and all the um, categories that they're looking for to give points. Uh, so basically in this game, to be able to get along with the story, you have to get enough points to unlock the next course. So you gotta make sure that you get enough points uh, for each Pokemon, well, with the least amount of Pokemon um, to make it faster. So that's what we're gonna be trying to do. 
uh, a fun fact is that people that are used to old snap usually they like give you a bunch of pictures this one they separate in folders so like oh this pokemon took those pictures this pokemon took those pictures and there's a new feature that actually helps a bunch in speedrunning is the feature that like auto select professor's gonna select the best picture in theory the best picture he thinks it is and then he auto chooses it for you and then you just skip, skip for it and go for it yeah, that's actually really good because I don't have to go in and choose them. Sometimes it's uh, a little bit stressful because it, it does um, take some of the ones that you didn't want them to take. So you're trying to take just one picture per Pokemon if possible. Um, right now I'm going to be uh, doing some settings um, because this is the one time that we get to do that. So I'm changing the speed of the camera. Um, you know, because we want to be faster. And now we're going to set. And there you go. So we don't have anything right now. We just got the villain, the auto -scro scroller. So we're going to be taking some Pichu, Grookey, and Vivillion. Um, you're trying to get as many points as possible. But sometimes you got to get some Pokemon that will just give you like buffer points like this buffalo in the background and now we're just waiting until we are after the bridge the it's um is... it's pretty oh. cute it is an auto scroller though so there, there's there's a bunch of just rolling around the first stage is park we need 40k and uh since it park doesn't have as much pokemon we basically almost take all of them the famous b do so people cute. know <laughs> b Doof is everywhere the new DLC, they made a Bidoof that's really giant. Oh, yeah. The Bidoof butt is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They did it for the fans. <laughs> okay, so here, this is a tricky one. Gotta take the swan that's flying around in the Flory Natural Park. Um, and you gotta get it really well. Ooh, nice. Um, so, yeah, basically, you're just looking for the least amount of Pokemon, the most amount of points. The Pokemon have different um, poses that are different stars. Um, and it depends on like if you give them, if you feed them, if you use skin, which is an ability that we're going to get soon. Uh, and yeah, the more points, the less Pokemon we have to take, the faster this goes. Um, alrighty. The next one that we're going to be taking is in here, in this corner. Also, um, I did not run um, old Pokemon Snap before, so but I know this from some people that have. Apparently, uh, if you... Th there was different things about looking sideways or looking um, somewhere else. I don't know if you, Candy, can give a little bit of light to that because I didn't know. And oh, then I can explain about how it's different here. Oh, because in the old N64, the N64 itself couldn't handle it properly. So basically, if you would look at too many Pokemons, the game will lag a bunch. So taking exact picture like in the new game uh, is not as good because you can sense the cursor going slowly because the lag is just eating everything. But yeah. yeah. Uh, here, uh, you go the fastest if you're looking forward. So you want to press on the D-pad to the front. Uh, if you zoom in, you are going to be slower. If you look to the sides or back, you are going to be slower. So you just want to make sure that you take the pictures on time, but you don't look to the sides too much or zoom in too much. Uh, you'll see me do that because I'm, I'm still getting the hang of this speed run. Um, but definitely that's something that you want to be doing. So we have just finished a park day. Now we're going to see all the uh, amounts of points that Mr. Um, Professor Mirror is going to give us for the Pokemon that we got. It's funny. Professor Mirror has a different name in Japanese. And really? also, yeah, it's a, uh, it's Kamido, something like that. It has a different name. It maybe is mirror in Japanese, but like they put it like um, it's the only thing that is in in normal. It's not in like Japanese sign symbols. 
And that's the only thing I can read, so. Oh, and funny. In the old snap, we had this sky simulator. Why is it sky simulator? Because there's a bunch of looking at the sky to not get the lag. So it's really good that we can actually see the game. And that's fantastic. That's actually true. You get to see all the pretty, pretty uh, graphics that this game has. I find this game like really pretty, just in general. Um, even when you speed run, uh, you can still see a little bit of how they made this game. It's so pretty, all the colors. I'm a sucker for color, like art. So yeah, it's definitely a plus. Okay, so we're mashing through here um, to get the fastest way of getting all the points. Um, we do need 40k to get out of the park and to be able to move forward. So, we'll see. Okay. There you go, and now we're level 2. So normally you have to do have to reach to level two uh, to be able to get move forward. There's some exceptions, but that's mostly what we need to do. So we're gonna return. And this is a little bit weird, but we do have to go back um, because, okay, so the tutorials and getting some other uh, objects that you're gonna see along the way, you can get both of them and then advance with the story. So you have to go back and take a picture or go back and like, oh, here's the update. There was an update uh, not long ago, actually less than a, a month ago, that kind of like displayed some things in the run. So it's like just a tiny bit of time missed there, but oh yeah, it's funny. We're running the new version of Pokemon Snap. So there are some differences in some stages that we're gonna talk about as we go through. Also, mm -hmm. Sky Facts, the more you don't look at it, the beautiful the, the beauty the game looks like. Because this sky in this game and in the other game, the in the other game is just a copy and paste of a, of a cloud. So I don't recommend them like a sky at all. <laughs> and here's a little I don't know. I don't never look at the sky, know that there was looking as like okay, that's something. Alrighty, we're gonna go back into park and we only need to exit and disappoint the professor <laughs> with no pictures. We can skip and we can go to evaluate. Yeah. Because He's professor's gonna... like, I taught you a new thing, go use it, use it, use it. <laughs> And then you're like, oh, no, you know what, I just gotta go back. I'm not gonna use it. So it's like all sad because we didn't. But you've made some research. Uh, oh, there you go. Um, now we're gonna be able to research in a different place, which is uh, the same place, but at night. Gonna be really good. That's one of my, my favorite um, parts. It's really pretty. I feel, I feel like everything at night is a little bit more Pretty, but that's just me. Caterpie, best Pokemon. <laughs> I'm Yellow. You. Since my first Pokemon was Pokemon Blue. Uh, Mine too. <laughs> I never played Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've been getting into like the gaming uh, world. So yeah, I never did. I feel so sad because now like I see it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I miss so much. I just want to get it all in. Alrighty, so this is park night. It's actually very pretty. We've got score bunny there. Um, and we're going to be doing the same. Now we got scanned. So you're going to see how we scan this cute bidoof here and get, and he reacts to the scan. So that's, what scan does, you got different um, reactions to it, and those are different types of uh, poses that all the Pokemon have. They all have four different stars. Um, so yeah, now we got a Tangrowth. I love this Pokemon. It's so funny. Uh, he's gonna turn around and then we're gonna do this. Oh, we have different ways to interact with Pokemon. We have the scan. This can also affect the Pokemon. Although it says the name, the gender, and everything. 
And then we have the flute, they're gonna go later. And then we have the flute fruit. That's a fun name for apple because in the older game it was uh, apple shaped as Pokemon fruit, but now it's flat fruit because it's a fruit and it's fluffy. Uh, that's <laughs> all I gotta say. I <laughs> don't even know why they chose that name. That's and true. We have another item, but you're only gonna see later, so you can talk about it later. For now, I'm just telling the basic ones. Yeah. Uh, fun fact in Spanish, because uh, my, my first uh, language is Spanish, so I've been playing this game also in Spanish. It's funny because Fluffroot is called uh, Lanzana, so that's basically like saying Blapo. So they didn't really care to change the name or anything, so that's just something really funny, to me at least. Uh, we're getting the pitch out. Look at me, look at me, look at me! There you go, hello! Okay, um, this is a very important one. Uh, and it's very cute. Look at this cutie. Hello, Swana. Yeah. <laughs> she has her, her little ducks, so it's really cute. And also here, something new. In the other Pokemon Snap, you could only take pictures of groups of the same Pokemon. This one here is like other Pokemon, literally other Pokemon. So imagine take a picture of Swana. Have her babies also count as other Pokemon. You don't need another Swana to get extra points. Oh, you get a bunch of extra points, yeah. That pincer. Is there pincer? That if you do anything else but uh, like scan, it will stop you. So there's some Pokemon that can actually stop you in your way. So we're gonna be seeing how I try to maneuver around them. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't, but that's life, you know? <laughs> uh, and yeah, I normally don't like bees. Um, I am allergic to them, but look at this. It's so cute. I mean, they're called bee, sir. <laughs> it's less than a bee. <laughs> less than a bee, exactly. Alrighty. Uh, we're gonna be taking Score Bunny here. We're gonna find him sleeping. And then oh, I'm gonna make sure that I got that. And we did get Torterra, but I already got one Torterra. Sometimes it's funny in this game, um, and it's been happening to a lot of people. You take a picture of one Pokemon, but because it was not focused on that Pokemon, you end up getting another picture, so it doesn't count. So you, like, whenever I'm not sure that I took a Pokemon, I just really make sure that I took it, because that can be a little bit tragic. It's, and this game has a new mechanic too, like if you zoom, it's not like the old game, you just take a picture of a nearby Pokemon. If you zoom, it's doing the Pokemon you're aiming before zooming. So you basically zoom lock on it. So you need to be careful because you may take a picture of a Scorbunny and it can be a Torterra. So, be careful you aim, yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. Also, you never explain about the points. The points are research points. By research point, we get depending on the pose of the Pokemon. We have, like Spicy said, four different poses. And um, the first pose is just the Pokemon doing nothing. The second pose being bonked or scan. And then third pose can be something more complex. And four. Four stars, Jesus Christ, you need to do a <laughs> step by step for you to get that. So this one, you're gonna know it's a four star, it's really complicated. Yeah, that's so true. Okay, we didn't make it for 326 points, but that's okay. Because remember that we still have to go back and return to camp. So, um, we return to camp. We're gonna show what we got. And then the professor's gonna be like, oh my gosh, let's see. <laughs> so there's um, energy that has appeared. It's a peak of energy. Um, we're trying to figure out what it is. So they're gonna send us to see what it is. And we are, it's called an Illumina Pokemon. So that's the whole story. It's about the Illumina Pokemon and how, like, something that happened like long ago, and we're trying to like figure out what happened and where they are. So we're gonna go to the Illumina spot. So we got a bunch of Illumina spots around the map that we're gonna go to. I love this cutscene, though. 
Uh, yeah, Professor goes like, oh, take out your defense to hear the Pokemon. And then, uh, yeah, guy's gonna see who the Pokemon is. Oh, oh, what is it? So pretty, but what is it? As a is friend would say, Chunky Dino Kankles. Is that really giant Mechanium? <laughs> like, oh my god, I took my defense. That is dangerous. <laughs> this is a Mechanium. I love it. Um, so now we're gonna have to go take a picture of it. But there's a trick to take to taking pictures of Illumina Pokemon. We can't just take it uh, because it won't count and we won't be able to move forward. So we gotta wait until it's in the Illumina state. But how is it in the Illumina state? Oh my gosh, Illumina state, you will uh, ask. So the first one, Meganium, you see this flower here? It's gonna smell it and then it's gonna get into the Illumina state. And it's so pretty. They're We're gonna calling... take three pictures just because I like that number. <laughs> they're, they're currently Illumina because apparently they're ancient Pokemon, so they come for a really long time. And then they shine. They and then shine. That's, yeah, that, it's a phenomenon. They are <laughs> like, like this story. If you read it, it's really funny. It's so cute. Okay, so normally the Illumina uh, courses are a little bit longer than normal, and you normally just take one picture. You just need one point to move forward. So if you got it in the Illumina state, then you're good to go. Um, so we're just waiting for Meganium to just disappear. Bye-bye forever. Is this a good time for some donations then? Yep, 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 go ahead. Fabulous. We have $100 from Margaret Ann. Prepare for donations. We all make them. To enhance the world with education. To connect all peoples within all nations. To denounce the evils of hate and lies. To ensure that freedom's on the rise. Malala Fund! Helping girls learn every day. A worthy cause, I must say. For them, let's play! Thanks for everything you do, everyone. You're all amazing, and good luck on both this run and the rest of the marathon. Less than three. Perfect. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was perfect. Such a nice poem. Alrighty. Um, so, we're seeing that Meganium, we got the picture. So now we're just gonna show it to the professor and he's gonna be super happy about it. Normally, Illumina Pokemon have, like, give more points. Um, ooh, that was a 6k. Oh my gosh. Look at me go. <laughs> really cute pictures. Fun fact, really the Illumina spots, they only require you to get one point. So even if you take the most horrible picture ever, you're still gonna level up. <laughs> exactly. So. That's so, so funny. So it's something you don't need to worry about as much. Unless you're gonna do high score, then high score. Oh, That's high something. score is a different thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so remember that we didn't get um, Park Knight all the way to level two? We don't have to worry, because now we are going to be going back so we can unlock. So we have to take one more picture. Um, and it's actually pretty good. I got a pretty good score. I'm really happy about it. So I just need to take one picture and exit, and then we're going to be able to move forward. Alrighty. There's a lot of mashing here. I think I've been becoming better at mashing with this uh, speed run. It's just it's so funny. Oh, and now we're part of the team. We are. I, I find it so funny. We had the, like, all the merch of the team, but now we're officially part of the team. We got the badge. No, but I always make that joke. You, we are team badge because we are team and we have a badge. So team badge. They never <laughs> explain the name of it. <laughs> oh, That's my. funny. Yeah. Now that you are out of probation and you got a bunch of pictures for us, now you're part of the team. Alrighty. I always say something, mash with purpose. That's something that has been going on with me because sometimes I just keep mashing. Because uh, sometimes it's... Uh, I can keep going. Oh, okay, now we're getting the fruits. Uh, F but yeah. Uh, if I keep mashing, I will get on the wrong course. So, mash with purpose, people. 
Oh, there's a right. tutorial you can skip. Where is skip? Skip tutorial. Like, okay. Let's learn how to throw apples. You press a button and the apple falls. Nice. Next thing. Let's bother some Pokemon. Sometimes you bonk them and I feel bad. <laughs> but it's funny. Let me tell. Warning. No Pokemons were hurt in this game because it's a fluff fruit. It basically doesn't hurt. That's what she says. I believe her. I think Alrighty. we should toss apples at every Pokemon to uh, test this theory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so this has to be a different type of uh, star if we want to get like a new. So we're going to be doing... We're going to be scanning. And we're going to be leaving. That's all we need. If we got the the different star from what we already got. Because if not, it doesn't count. <gasps> it does count. Because it's a different star. We used to do Meganium, but since the new DLC, everything now is pure RNG. Because before, if you have a new file, everything would be uh, self like self self reset. Just because of the first file, like it's your first time playing through the the stage. But now yeah. everything's just random. Just like you know what, everything is random. Live free. And then Jesus yes. in your lives. We're speed running at least. Awesome. Okay, so we made it. And now, cutscene. We're doing some snapping. We're trying to learn. We just gotta focus. Oh, who's that? <gasps> oh, I forgot. That's my favorite cutscene. Oh my gosh, it's Todd. You guys were talking about the professor. Man, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> OG snappers here. You got a little bit um, of nostalgia from seeing Todd all grown up. And now we're gonna be taught by him how to take some pictures. I, I find that actually really cute that they put him there. He doesn't have a, a spiky chain anymore. That's so wonderful. <laughs> oh, but now we get... Phil! Oh god, Phil. No Smack one likes Phil. <laughs> it's Mac Dev in the middle. He never goes out of the lab to take pictures. He's like, oh, I wish I could have took that picture. It's <laughs> Mac okay, Dev in whatever. the middle. It's funny because in the game, uh, Toddy says, I don't know. Phil just one day appeared and said he want to be like my student. So I just like, I just let it be. That's so funny. I also find it funny because in Spanish, they call him Lloyd. So I just, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know why they call them Lloyd, but okay. It doesn't oh. even make sense. Now we're going to another island. Oh, uh, I forgot to say, the, the girl is Hita? Rita? Rita, yeah. Rita, yeah. She looks like a Pokemon. I forget how, what one I said she looked like. Uh, uh, it's the it's the, the one in cave. Um, I think yeah. it's not here. Um, it's the dragon. The dragon looks like a, a slime. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, I forget the name. But she looks like a Pokemon, which is I find also very funny. Um, okay, so we're now in jungle, jungle day. Uh, it's very pretty, as all of them are in the Belo Silva Island. So what we're going to be taking is this Acon. This it's is a safety pick because it's a little bit tricky to get the other one at the end. So if we don't, we already have this one. Uh, after this, we're going to be bonking. Bonk. Picture. And e, if I don't get it, I'm just going to be taking it anyway. Something that disappoints me is that those, um, like if, when you throw it in the, in the web, it just passed through. It was like, oh, imagine if we're getting stuck in there. Okay, this beauty fly normally bombs me, but I didn't get bonked and I got slacking, which I'm also really happy about. Because uh, slacking normally doesn't respond to you. It's like, I'm not paying attention to you. You can bonk me all you want. <laughs> uh, but here you can get. Uh, stopped by multiple beauty flies. Yeah, they're pretty, but God, they're a little bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. And it's funny, it's only some of them that have those. Uh, uh, sh it's not shiny. It's like those eyes are like keep shiny, but uh, some of them, if you bonk, they don't do that. Mm. 
to him. Hey, Pong. I was like, what are you doing? They're like, let me bunk here for a second. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was that was good. Okay, Sometimes he runs away. For jungle day, we need 35k. So what? We're managing our pictures right now. Yeah, we're just scavenging for pictures right now. Um, because there's not a lot around. Well, there is in the pond, but we need this tree. That's it. I don't get it. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Pickyback. It's like, who hit me? Did anybody go? And then anybody got sight of it? <laughs> <laughs> he gets mad. I'm so sorry. I gotta do it, you know, for science. Yeah, Professor said it's for science. I have a living. Oh gosh, okay. Now we are gonna be getting to the waterfall parts of jungle i also find it really pretty i'm just a sucker for pretty to be honest i that's one of the reasons why i run this game is just really pretty <laughs> but i don't think it's only me that uh, waterfall no. is where so many background points it's amazing it's the best spot to take pictures background points heck yeah oh i forgot background which other thing guys don't forget about your background my background are blooms some things are scannable. And then, um, yeah. Background points. Who could have thought? I'm then gonna bring the magic carp nearby. Okay. Magic don't carp, please. Don't forget Water to feed dog. the magic carp. It's really important. Magic carp is a water dog. The magic carp is orange and uh, he's not fun to bring. <laughs> oh, we got stopped by Live Park. Okay, never mind. Good stuff. Um, no. Okay, now we're waiting. This beauty fly can stop us sometimes, but it's, it's also a lot of RNG. This game lately has a lot of RNG. And we get the Quacksire. And then you're gonna get the background points on the blue. That's right next to her. And then also the waterfall. This is a really huge waterfall. It's a good thing you can miss it. I mean, sometimes I miss it, but it's another story. This game's complicated, okay? <laughs> A little bit complicated. But right now we're gonna be finishing and we're gonna be seeing if we got all the points. Which I'm pretty confident I got. Do do do. Okay. We mash a tiny bit. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I love Whooper. Whooper's my favorite. In this game, at least. Oop, that was pretty good. Slacking. That, that's one that I'm like really happy every time I get in on a run. It's really hard to make him like look at me. Also, if you get a Pokemon behind something, you will lose size um, because you can't see it. It's actually it's kind of funny. Like, if you don't see the whole Piggy Pack, you lost some size. But you know what? We'll take them. We take the ones that gives us enough points. Hmm, that so live part so looks so peaceful. Some stages we need to re-enter because professors like, oh, you got new things when you go and try it out. And then you're like, nah, I'm just gonna end and get out. It's always like that. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, oh, discover a new thing. Go search it for me. And then you just need to go in, get out. Okay, done. Alrighty, let's see. Woo, we got Love it. you. Yay. Awesome. And we got a bunch of research titles. That's uh, that's something for online. It's super fun when you're playing like casually. You can do some online. Um, you can post them online. It's super funny. You can do a lot of uh, high score stuff. Also, be getting into some high score stuff. Uh, trying to get the Pokemon in like certain places, certain uh, positions next to each other. It's actually pretty fun. So they're talking about how we need to get um, a crystal bloom. Um, so 
So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be going to Jungle Night. And uh, in Jungle Night, we might encounter a Crystal Blue. Uh, because uh, the professor's research only works if you get the crystal blue lit up. If it's a uh, not lit, it doesn't work. You can take any pictures of one of the other crystal blues, it's not gonna work. He needs a picture of it lit up. Like, I don't know how he does the research through the pictures. Maybe there's a 3D aspect to it that he don't know about. But yes, that's how he does the research. Okay, so... After this, we're gonna get... You guessed it right, Metapod is still here! Metapod's still chilling on the same place. But we now we're gonna that. get... Oh my gosh, this is an Arbok that's just chilling. I love that. I love that Arbok just um, chilling out there, sleeping. You can make it fall. It's a little bit mean. It's she really, really, really peaceful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why did you drop me? I was sleeping. Yeah. But again... All of this is so pretty at night. It's just, I, I feel like it just pops up. Alrighty, we're gonna be winning a, a little, not not that much, but just a tiny bit. Um, we got an Ariados that runs away. So there you see that's a crystal blue, but it's not shiny. You gotta get the shiny one. Um, yeah, and nice. if you look up, Night stages are my favorite because, like she said, everything pop up. Pop up. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just, I really love every stage in the night style. Yeah, the night style. Uh, some of them we're not going to be able to see because they're not really necessary for the run. But um, one of my favorites there is a uh, reef evening or beach night. Uh, those are all actually pretty cool too. Um, yeah. You're also not gonna see the DLC stages, so that yeah. is, you guys can see by themselves. You 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 just gotta get the game. Now you just gotta play it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. And maybe the DLCs you can are it. the best. They are the best. I They're love so them. They're so cute. Like all of this game, like they they made it so well. I am actually really happy about it. Um, what a better way to get into Pokemon? Because this is kind of like one of the games that I've been like getting into Pokemon with so it's just I, now I've been learning their names and just being into it and it's just nice it's pretty nice okay sometimes uh, I still forget oh the cat I feel like live part is just it looks at you like it hates you but it's like hi human don't disturb me isn't that just cats yeah, I feel like it. Yeah, they are That's big true. <laughs> But they still love you, though. Oh yes, and they yell at you very loudly when they want cuddles or pets or food or, or food or anything really. <laughs> or is that just my cat? I don't have cats, but I have friends that do have cats, and uh, it's probably the case. Oh my gosh, yeah, Minga, please. I was about to say we're making us do. Oh, it's the Ooper. The Ooper jumped. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. We're gonna take this one. There you go. Now we're gonna scan for Magikarp. Also, funny thing uh, Magikarp is almost in every um, course. Got the Crystal Bloom. It's almost in every course. Um, you can find it, you can have to, you have to scavenge it, but you can find it. Same as with Vivillion, you can also find it in almost every course. I find that it's, it's really, really like a tiny Easter egg that is kind of funny. Here we get, oh my god, I could look more low, I'm sorry. He uses sleep power, don't worry, he's fine. It's because he uses sleep power on himself and then he sleeps. Uh, so, and then the first time I did that, I was concerned. I was like, oh my god, I'm not gonna Pokemon, he's not getting back. He's just sleeping. No. Alrighty. Oh, Pedro, I was going to ask, like, uh, which which stage you guys think Magikarp is not in? Because there's actually a funny Magikarp hidden somewhere. Yeah. Which, um, like, 
I feel like because Magikarp is a fish, it can be anywhere where there's water. So where could they not be water that Magikarp can't really live in? Don't worry, fluff fruits. I like sponges, so imagine someone throws a sponge at you. It does hurt a little bit, but like, it's not threatening at all. I mean, you can also eat it, so that's a plus. Not the sponge, the fluff fruit. You can't eat it? That's no, you... tragic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just purely danger fruit. Yeah. Danger fruit, there you go. Alrighty, so. We didn't make it for 5,000 points, but that's okay because we still have to go back. So we just unlocked something that you're about to see. Um, but the thing is that um, to move forward, we have to go back just as we did on park. So that's why we're going to be doing and we're going to be taking some more pictures. So no problem if we didn't get enough points. So now we get orbs. Look at them so pretty and they come from the flowers yeah from the research from the picture that i took from a flower that's so shiny and then wow. he discovered all that based on the picture looks how smart this guy is and also every time you get a new item we need to try it out like i said so we're gonna get in this stage we're not gonna try it out but you're gonna get out and then he's like okay you, you guys try it right all right he needs to believe us because that's how we unlock, unlock the stages unfortunately yeah, but now that we have the orb, now we can go back and we can move forward. So we're gonna go back into Jungle Night. We're gonna get the ones that we need. So we need like 6,000 points, so around two pictures. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is taking another set of pictures with another uh, set of stars. We're gonna take Live Bar without bonking. We're gonna take this one's sleeping. Pretty cute. And I think that's it. We actually get two... Um, two orbs. We get one for park and then another for jungle. But since we are finishing the stages and now we're gonna get the opportunity to use it. So we're only gonna use it in certain stages because we unlock it, unlock it earlier. But for now, orbs are just there. Yep. Exactly. So if I'm right, I didn't take a good picture, so I'm gonna have to go back. Um, it didn't took as a, as a different picture, so now we have to see if we can take a Yaminga. And that's definitely gonna give us the points that we need. There you go, we got the Yaminga. Actually, um, zooming depends a bunch because uh, certain Pokemon are so big that you don't exactly need to zoom. But like the closer, the better. And some specific pictures you don't really need to center it, which is good about this game. Yep, exactly. Sometimes it depends on like um, what you're seeing in the in the frame. So if you zoom in and it's too big, you're actually losing size points. So it's, it's kind of understandable. Next site. Oh my gosh, is that more islands? We are about to embark onto another island. We're gonna go to a desert right now. You can choose to go like anywhere. So now we get to choose where we're gonna go. Personally, in this run, I do sands because it's, I don't know, easier for me to menu, but you can do it like any way you want. It has just a tiny bit of difference in the run. Um, it also depends on your mashing and many other uh, factors. So personally, I choose to go to Sands first. Well, technically you have to go to Sands first, but then you can choose another one. Oh, this is the DLC one where you, they tell you that you can shrink and go oh, yeah. park. Where not gonna be doing that but if you have the game and you want to do it the new update is actually pretty cute to do that 
a few comes by and like, oh, you know, professor did a new thing, now you can shrink. And then <laughs> you're like, shrink. okay, thanks. And then later he's like, oh, you don't know where you can go? You can go into the street and shrink. And then he comes again, I'm like, no, Phil, I don't want to hear about it. I, I want to speak around. Please, Phil, no. <laughs> yes, just let me, let me be. I just want to go. But did you know you can shrink? <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a it's a new thing, and I find it pretty cute. I wish you could do it everywhere, but you can only do it in park. Um, but there's still plenty to look in park when you're shrunk. Okay, so please, please, Scorpion, please. Can I come? No. Nope. Okay. So that's why we took the the other Scroopy. That's RNG, complete RNG now with the new update. Um, so we take the other one, and if the Scroopy comes towards us, then we take that one, and it takes it. Um, also, fun fact: when you're auto selecting, that's what we do on uh, the speed run. It chooses the the max amount of like stars. Um, so if you have a one star and a two star, it will choose automatically the two star. It doesn't matter if the two star is worse than the first star, um, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, oh, that's a good picture. Hopefully it chooses that one. <laughs> okay, uh, so to unlock new stages, we basically need to reach level two in every single stage. And then when there's a new item, you need to try the new item, and then that also unlocks stages. So it depends on each, each part of the game you are. And then each stage requires a different amount of points. Like, okay, we're in Sense Day. Sense says you need 30k points to get to level 2. So that's how we get our points from. How much we need for it, actually. Alrighty. Let's scan here. Katnia, there you go. I have our famous hypo down, just chilling there. Uh, <laughs> just to kiss his head. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Please, please don't, sir. Sir, sir, move sir. it. Sir, ah. sir, sir. This is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we can move the car just a tiny bit by moving the camera. Sometimes it works. It used to work a little bit better um, with uh, Oji Step, I think. That's what people did. I don't know if I'm, I'm right, but uh, we can do that. Uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Depends on how close the Pokemon are. Uh, and also, it depends on if that Pokemon is supposed to um, stop you or not. Because sometimes there's some Pokemon that are in your way, completely on your way, and they don't stop you. It's because they're not supposed to stop you, so you're good. Yeah, in this game, for your card go to go faster, you need to be looking straight as much as possible. So when you drift to the right, you actually slow you down. So you basically like, oh, I'm slowing myself down, but it's better than getting stuck on the high pole now. So it's just sacrifice, but let's go. Actually, high pole down was not being nice today. Oh, so something different also in this game is like, the Pokemon can evolve. If you find a Magikarp, it doesn't mean he's gonna evolve. Sometimes it can appear regardless, but it's not the same Magikarp. Mm -hmm. or, or like you find a Wooper, it, it's not gonna evolve. You're gonna find a Gwexar somewhere. So it's something I miss is the evolutions. Those new Pokemon now, they don't evolve at all. Yeah, no. You you will find the evolutions, but you don't. you won't see them evolve. But what I really find cute is like just the premise of the game, just having, imagining the Pokemon in their natural habit, like how they would react in their natural habit. And so, you know, I find it really cute. This Professor Oak would say, wonderful. And then um, Professor Mira just like, oh, nice picture. Oh. Not so nice picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Like, <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. This yeah. is a four star. There you go. Alrighty. Cute pincer. 
Alrighty. So we made it. We made it. And you know what That's that means? More snap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love Trapfish as well. They were my the favorite trapfish. Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald. I don't know, they, they have a different kind of cute, you know? They're just cute. They like They're just cute, orange yes. Ball. They're little ant, like really huge ant, 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 and it's so cute. It's like, um, you know, um, small but mighty. Can just snatch you, but, you know, still pretty cute. I, yeah. I, I relate to Trap Inch a tiny bit. <laughs> and there's the, the best evolution. He turns into a Flygon, but then. Unfortunately, not gonna see Flygon in the speed run, but the Flygon is in the game. It is in the game. It's pretty cute. But you're gonna see more trap inch just in the right now. But is the they Flygon wearing a lot of bows? So. <laughs> and well, this we is don't a have hurricane. frozen Flygon <laughs> yeah, wearing okay. a lot of bows right now. Is this a good time to read out a few donations? Yeah, for sure. Fabulous. We have $15 from Polarity. A picture is worth a thousand words, so Pokemon Snap for literacy is the perfect idea, right? Agreed. We <laughs> have $5.94 from Rizuru. A crisp $5-y dues and 94 cents to represent my wonderful son, Gengar Heart. We have $75 from Kithonic One. Shout outs to the bows with the screaming hostess inside. That's not ominous at all. Thank you so much. Aren't we all a screaming hostess on the inside? I think so. <laughs> Sometimes I do have like a host in my head, just constantly tell me what to do when exactly. I'm not talking. It's so and then helpful. I come yeah, exactly. And sometimes they scream. Sometimes <laughs> they scream. Yes. I think the wall is screaming sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it comes out and it's like you're screaming and then you're like you're not supposed to be screaming. Alrighty, now we're gonna be taking uh oh, awesome. So this is the Lycan Rock, but the midnight form. I find them really sad. Oh yeah, people Why are talking you sad? about this groupie. It's not a matter or it's actually funny, it's a minion. Minior? I would say you're wrong. But uh, it falls on it. <laughs> it's really fun. So when you have an orb, you can take it out of the ground. And since we don't do the, the, the speed rank, he just got hit and then he was like, what, 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 what happened? And then he goes away. Yep. Uh, we can get hacked by these Lycan rocks, so I'm trying to get them out. But we got the King scan. Now we got... There you go. You see? Magikarp. <laughs> Yet again. And sometimes you can get out of being stopped here. Like right now. Nice. And this is really important. So you really want to get the crystal bloom. You can see the crystal bloom here. Oh yeah. So I'm going to be taking it. A bunch Multiple. of people miss the, the crystal blooming casual playthrough. Yeah. Hey. In a, in a speedrun it would be a little bit tragic because you have to... Would do it again. That happened to me uh, some days ago. I had to go back in and it loses you a tiny bit of time. But um, so you got to make sure that you're taking your your crystal blooms. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Sandra is so cute. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, and now we're just waiting. Cookies. Stretch my hands. Ooh, PCs. Gonna... Sorry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, no, go ahead. Okay, I'll just squeeze in some donations. We have ten dollars from Muffin Mark. Not my favorite, but had to donate ten dollars in honor of Nicole Goodnight's favorite, Catonese. I definitely remember that Pokemon. We have five dollars and seventy cents from Mario Man five seven four. My favorite Pokemon is Smurgle. I don't know why, but I was always fascinated by the concept of you can learn any move in the game, but it is a pain to get exactly what you want. Now, with that being said, let's name that Eevee after my actual favorite Pokemon, 
Happy Doof. Now, if everyone in chat gives me a zooey mama, I'll donate again. Thank you so, so much. Nice. Awesome. So now we're in the evaluation part. Ooh, that was a good trap inch. Be doof. Oh, I took the good scurvy. Um, okay. Since the DLC came out, now the minion appears because before, if I remember correctly, when I was doing my casual playthrough, I didn't even notice. They usually go spin and go to the sky and they literally don't see it. They're like, I'm going to the space and then they're not, really not gonna stop me. But now they chill. Nice. But before it was complicated. I was accidentally calling minion because of the eyes, but it's minion. Yeah, minion. <laughs> Tiny enough to be a minion. Maybe. <laughs> you know the big guys? They have those big twist eyes. So it confused my head. And also in other languages, Pokemons have different names, so... That's true. It's complicated. I don't know the names in Spanish. I should. I knew some in German, but... Now if you ask me, I forget. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so now we got the orb. If you saw, I didn't make it to the second level, but we're okay because we have to go back in as we have with the others because we just got an orb, so no worries, we're going to be doing another picture. So... Is that a famous trap inch? Yeah, the walking trap inch. He walk really slow, but he's trying his best. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> all right. Awesome. And we are research level two. Mm. And by the way, we're getting to the next place. Very nice. So after this, we are going to be going to beach. We're going to Maricopia. Maricopia, yes. But we unlocked a volcano. That's some, somewhere we're going to be going later. So that's where you can choose if you want to go to volcano or you want to still go to Maricopia. Um, we're gonna choose Maricopia. And we're gonna go to Beach Day. Maricopia is my favorite island in like the speed run. It's just really lively. It's a little bit easier. Um, still tricky, but still um, pretty fun to take. Awesome. And uh, I really like it here. Sometimes I... Okay, if, if you know me, you know that I am obsessed with Pikachu. If, if you can see him right here. I am obsessed with Pikachu. Um, so every time that I see a Pikachu, it's just really hard to contain myself. It's really cute. Um, look at him go. Look at him go. And if you see this guy over here is not letting us pass, so we gotta bonk him so he stands up. While we play the flute for this cute Pokemon that's gonna be coming out of the bushes. Oh, it's a Bellasome. Bellasome, please. Bellasome. I love the dancing. We take a pavilion here, because of course we have a pavilion. And uh, we can diverge here in the path. So we're going to take this path here. I'm not really sure if it's a little bit faster, but it definitely does give you like better um, pictures. So this is complete RNG if you're gonna get uh, Machamp looking at you. 
And he's flexing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, okay. Matchup is funny. It's just the only Pokemon that I, I can't get used to. It's just a matchup. It's a huge matchup, like in the middle of the beach. It's like getting to his stand and they're running. Oh, he do he does cars fit because in my own level of the, the stage, it's like, let me do some push-ups. Hup, hup. Oh, it's really funny. Oh no, Tilly's getting zapped. Also that. Okay, now we got Pikachu again. <laughs> and we're gonna lead it to this. Pikachu, please. Oh? Oh, well, what did you see, Pikachu? Aww. Oh, yeah. The, the thing and of the sand is background points. So that's why we pull Pikachu to it. Yeah. And also the pose. I think the pose is way better. Yeah. Uh, it changed stars, yeah. And now we see this one. It's doing a flappy flappy. That's a Stumpfisk. I would say his name wrong. Stumpfit. Is the... Fish? Stumpfisk? There you go. Yeah, Stumpfisk. Yeah. It's the carpet fish. <laughs> he, literally, he literally hides in the sand. Yeah. If you get him angry though, he will zap you, so... <laughs> Gotta be uh, careful. No, not recommend them. Don't step on that carpet. Alrighty. Um, this wingle is a little bit tricky to get because sometimes the RNG will make it just flap its wings, so you're like focused on it, and then it flaps and goes out of the um of the picture, and then you you can't take it. So it's good that it didn't. Oh my gosh! Look at him flex. Uh, Binion is also pretty tricky. You gotta go back and it's just fish out of the water. Uh, Pikachu is always being cute. And Stunkfish. We need a 30k. Let's see if we got it. <laughs> we got it! Yay! Now we gotta mash! With purpose! Uh. And we are out of here. So, we will be going now to Reef, which is my favorite course of all Reef. the speedrun. Partly Reef. because it's the easiest. <laughs> True. But, well, at least for me, but it's also just so pretty. Yeah, I just found out I have almost 400 hours in this game. And uh, I don't speedrun it. I speedrun it one or two times, but I do high score. High score can make you get a lot of hours in the game. Yeah. You gotta try so much to get the perfect picture. Um, but it's still the same uh, idea of getting the most amount of like points for each picture. Also, Reef is my favorite part because you know, Finn and the little fishy over there. Uh, Ingo just decides to take you away. It's not in this stage, but it's just a fun interaction. Those like, oh look at this fish, are gonna take a picture, and then Wingo's like, Wee! yeah, it's Wingo gone. just takes it. <laughs> it's gone. It's just a taxi. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened to the. Opinion. Yeah, according to the game, it's a taxi. Dog, please. Okay. Okay, now we got the Sharpedo. Sharpedo? Hello. And it's an Angie Boy. And now this Whirlpool that is uh, a little bit sus, you know? But uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> who's there? Magikarp! I don't know if anybody who played the mobile game does the Magikarp jump. That's a reference to it because it says, Oh, what if you throw something in the zero pole? What is it gonna happen? And then Magikarp keeps jumping higher and higher as you throw apples in it. Yep. 
Exactly. I normally pick the second one. Because uh, it takes a lot more time for it to go down. And then Winkle is just chilling out here. Also, fun fact. You can't touch your pillows because they have rough skin and any hearts, they open them. But that's a, a Pokemon fact that's not in Pokemon now, so don't worry about it. Just need to take pictures of it. Oh my gosh. Waylord. So being stopped by Waylord is definitely not uh, something you can avoid. So you're just gonna go around. And what I'm doing right now is I'm using my D-pad. And you see like the, the tiny like moving like that. Because it will change my direction and it will make me slower. So, you know, you gotta keep going forward. And you the water. Thank you, Waylord. We also appreciate you. Now we're gonna be taking this dude o over here, just flexing on us. Matchimp is a really good swimmer. I don't know if it's because he has four arms, but yes, he can swim. He can swim, yeah. There's another interaction in one of the levels where a Sharpedo is um, going uh, after um, swimming Matchamp. It's really funny. It's just super tired, but it's like... It gets to the rock and it's like, oh my gosh. I almost got eaten by a Sharpie, though. Alrighty. We're almost on Reef. One of people's favorite Pokemon is about to appear. It's Marini! I thought it was Puku Muku. That's inside a Pelly <laughs> Pepper's mouth. He's hitting there. Yep. Also, my meta is saying all the, all the name of the Pokemon's wrong at the end of the year because I do that a lot. Oh yeah, I I, I know it's Pelipper, but I used to say Pelly Pepper <laughs> because you know I don't really know the names of the Pokemon before, so um, now it just stay like that. It's called Pelly Pepper, which is pretty on brand with me because you know spicy. I don't know. It sounds accurate to me. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> You gotta agree. Yeah. Okay. We are yeah. going to go and see if we got good pictures. No, Carcel is fine. He's made of coral, so it's not like he heard it all. He's just literally a rock, basically. He's just like, oh my god, something hit me. The Corsola uh, knows what it did. <laughs> <laughs> So, fun fact, there's a spicy and candy here. So, she's spicy and candy, which is quite the opposite, very just fine. Yep. Spicy and candy was definitely not planned, but. Yeah, I didn't even notice until someone pointed out. Uh, Corsal is the last one. I used to be against this, but it, it just rubbed on me. I will be calling a lot of this Pokemon dog. Um, you know, or bird. Um, it's just a little bit something I caught up along the way with all the people that I I have around that play this game too. So if you hear me say it, now you know why. Hold on, are we starting a debate in chat about uh, which Pokemon are dogs, cats, birds, or otherwise? Because I think uh, chat is up for the challenge. <laughs> Definitely, I'm down for the challenge. I used to be like super against it, but now I just... If you can't fight them, just join them, right? Fact. We negotiated. Waylord is a bird. <laughs> Waylord is a bird, yes. I'll accept exactly. it. I'll accept it. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're gonna go to Seafloor. Seafloor is... um, It's a long one. Uh, because there's a bunch of things that you gotta do to get uh, to the next stage. So we're gonna see what we have to do. Um, first of all, look at this, how pretty it is. Under yeah, it's stunning sea. down here. Under the gonna sea. be taking Magikarp, just chilling, doing the bee chilling. Dog, please. Awesome. 
no, no, not you. Yes. There you go. It's so pretty. Like the way that they developed this game. The colors, the textures. It's really interactive. Um, so for Undersea, you're gonna do something that is a little different. We need 35k points and we need to do a specific interaction to be able to unlock the next stage. But you're only gonna see it later, like on the second retry. On the second, yep. on the retry. And you're gonna yeah, retry we, we gotta retry it. Okay, so we woke up Finian, not Finian, Luminion. Luminion. And now we got the Crystal Bloom. Before the update, we were able to take another Pokemon that was like in an Illuminous state instead of the Crystal Bloom. So now we can't. And that's something that the update changed. Uh, and it definitely uh, could have been a little bit better. But we have ways to work around it. <laughs> God, artillery just oh, getting yeah. yelled at by Wilner. <laughs> so fun a fact, bit mean. since the DLC, that can be an uh, artillery or a uh, Pukumiko. And Pukumiko is so small, you're going to lose so many points. So it's going to be quite unfortunate if you get it in RNG. Yep. Okay, so in my run after the update, I've never taken artillery. I normally take this one here which is the one that you used to be able to take i'm gonna show you guys but i'm not gonna take it if it appears gonna appear. and then, there you go you got frillish another fun fact frillish uh used to since you see shiny used to give us the all powers but since the dlc again he took uh, the ability of getting that, so now we need to take a picture of the actual flower. The, just the frillish shining like a shining like Illumina doesn't count anymore. Yeah, no, it doesn't count, which is very sad. Because you and do you have to get Luminion out of the way, and that's a little bit of a hassle. The water, like undersea levels, are pretty pretty uh slow but they're also very pretty uh you get to see them also water levels are really annoying because orbs act different the physics are totally <laughs> oh different also for flu fruit yes. they look like i don't know i don't even know how to explain flu fruits they just go not to this body want to send them but they go somewhere yeah that's so true um so we're gonna go up and we got a bunch of tentacruels. So what we want is uh, the last tentacruel. I used to take another one, but... And now we're taking a Mentine. Right at the end. Some of these um, horses, it's like it's they're accelerating because you take a lot of the pictures that you need at the end, like right at the end. So you're like at high risk of not getting them. So it's actually pretty cool. And it gets you like going. Okay, let's see how we did here. Magikarp, of course. Ooh, Ursula, Binion. And time. Luminion. Nice. Okay, so depending on the stage, we for a way to be fast in this video, and we choose certain pictures. So we don't take every single Pokemon, but they are there. But <laughs> for now, we don't need them. Exactly. Uh, sometimes, if you feel like the picture was not good, or it didn't actually take it. There's some um, backups along the way. Um, or if you feel like you're not gonna get enough points, but you're trying to be like, take the less, the least pictures that you that you can, so you do it like a little bit faster. And that's what really helps in, in speed running an auto, auto scroller. Oh my gosh, auto scroller. 
There you go. So we've done undersea one. We're gonna be coming back two more times. Yeah, so we're gonna do the special interaction. Now that we got the orbs by taking a picture of the crystal blue, we're gonna. Um, we need blue. Oh, please. Arms makes Pokemon do special interactions like attacks or uh, things like that. They charge the Pokemon up. So we need uh, what? 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 Why is there? We need the crab. Oh, sir. The, the, the shrimp actually. Uh, the shrimp. Uh, the shrimp flesh crab. crab. <laughs> yeah. To break the, ro the rock for us. So we need to orbit so it gains more power to be able to break the rock. Yeah. But for now, we're gonna take. Um, not gonna take. We're gonna orbit and then wait for it to fight with the other uh, clock was there. I know how to pronounce my name, okay? Sorry. And then uh, he gonna appear later. It's funny, you don't need to level up or anything. It's a special interaction that only happens in this stage. Yeah. Um, the clocks are what actually does is helps us go over here. That is closed by a rock, so the clots are gonna help us get there. You don't have to take any pictures, and this is where I say that we can chill. So if you have uh, any donations, you can go ahead and, and read them out. Oh my goodness, do I? We have $9.87 from Adria Lina. Uh, I can't afford a giant donation for just my top Pokemon, so I'll take my favorite three and add them together in pennies. My favorite three hmm. are Galali, which is 362, Lugia, 249, and Metagross, 379. Thank you to all the runners, commentators, and tech team for keeping these GDQ events, such as Flame Fatales, running. Much love and can't wait to see more. We have $100 from Anonymous. Let's break six digits, baby! That is an amazing goal, and we still have one more day left for this event. So let's do that push, and hopefully we can get it. We have $39.90 from Mathia Graphene. There was a lot of love for Bidoof on day one of the marathon. So I'm bringing it back with Bidoof, Pokemon $3.99. Since tomorrow is the last day of the marathon, donation goes to making the Fire Emblem Heroes birthday, August 21st. We have $25 from Dr. Zonk PhD. A uh, perfectly comfy run of new Pokemon Snap after a hard day of work. Here's 25 for the mascot, Pikachu. Good luck, Spicy Buns. I also hear nice. rumors that Spicy likes Pikachu. <laughs> I do. I love it. Okay, so this is the part of this uh, undersea level that we gotta be really... Okay, so we orbited, but this is gonna be... It has more power, so it defeated it. So now we're gonna see, it zooms out, and we're gonna just... Wait well, out. When it leaves, we need to leave the stage, so it's gonna come as if you take... Like, if you interact with it, you have to take a picture of it, so now he's gonna appear in the stage. Because he was not yep. appearing before. But, uh... Just something the game decided to do. This game is really complex. Uh, like. The speedrun doesn't even show like half of the interactions. This game is really good. Yeah, and now, oh my gosh, look at him here. He appears here, and now he's gonna help us to open up that place that we need to get to uh, another place in Undersea, and maybe go to another course. Because Under the Sea has the name because we get under the sea <laughs> under the sea yes exactly nothing related to anything else i swear we need to orbit though if we don't orbit it's not going to be able to do it but look at him so strong thank you and yeah. that pokemon is really dangerous not gonna lie and now again we got nothing to do until we are out of Oh, the yeah, seafloor. You just need to unlock the second path, and then that's it. So, if you that, have any more donations, go for yeah. it. Oh, yeah. So, we have $15 from Eric. 
Hey y'all, sending some good vibes for the rest of this run. Absolutely love every fiber of this game and the wonderful community behind it all. Shout outs to them, the runner and commentator for giving us this treat on the main stage. Also, flame fatales and spicy buns? Surely the scorching crossover was meant to be. Cheers, Spicy Riot. We have $2.50 from Remy Tsune. $2.50 for my favorite Pokemon scene in only Gen 1, the original Chubachu. I miss him. Bring him back, please. Can confirm. Best. We have $25 from Quo. You're doing great, Spicy. We have $5 from Crunchy Brown. So proud of you, Spicy. You went from not even considering yourself a gamer to being on the GDQ stage. Glad to see all that practice paid off. You and Candy make an amazing team. Best of luck on the run. It's Spicy Buns, yeah! <laughs> We have $5 from Pedro Animates. Where Lord is definitely a bird. Bulbasaur is a dog wearing a backpack. And Typhlosion is blue. Also, I <laughs> Spice Eye Buns said Pikachu on Mantine. Wise words. Pikachu oh on Mantine. Yeah. That's the best there's, part of the game. There's an interaction where there's a Pikachu on a Mantine. Um and I absolutely adore it. Uh, so yeah. Um, I remember someone saying that their favorite Pokemon is Lugia. So there's a secret path that we're not going to be able to see, unfortunately. But it's over here. Uh, and if we follow the, I forget the name, Lantern. Lantern. Uh, we're going to be able to see uh, Lugia. But unfortunately, we can't. But if you got the game, you definitely can. I love Lugia. Since the movie, the movie is really good. I have like, yes, I have like a little bit of really old movie. Now we're getting into the depths of the ocean. So, if you see, the water gets more dense, so it's a little bit more difficult to see. But it's still really pretty cool. And you can see all the ruins that have to do with the plot of the the game. Uh, and also, look at all these frillish. Okay, the but... Um, Galizopod. Hmm? Galizopod. Galizopod is a bug, but it's a big bug. I know, right? It looks like a bug. So, so like, it's not only me, because I thought it was only me. And then, when he eats the apples, he clean eats whiskers, and it's really cute. It's a different kind of cute, but it's definitely cute. I feel like all Pokemon can be cute in their own way. Now we're about to have an interaction with um, this... I forget the name! Cradley! Uh, that we can't escape. And it's a, a quite aggressive interaction. We get stopped. And it's not my fault, I'm sorry. Yeah, she'd be like, Oh, you hear it? Let me leave. But she goes really slowly. Super slow. I wish this is something that we could avoid, like looking to the other side or something. But no, you can't escape it. You can't escape the Cradley. So it's funny, Cradley is a fossil Pokemon, so they are, it is in undersea. It has a, basically it's like, um, I forgot the name of the, the other fish. It's because it's a, like an ancient Pokemon, something like that. So they are hidden in the depths. Like Lugia. Lugia's hidden there too. Yep. And we're out. Oh man, done already? Yes. Yes, Phil. Man. Phil. <laughs> Wasn't that long enough for you, Phil? Come on. Come on. I, I know. <laughs> he is always saying the wildest things. You'll be like, oh my god, I want you to take more pictures. And then sometimes you take like 74 pictures, like, do you want more pictures? Are you sure? No, no. Yeah, or sometimes it's like, I could have taken better pictures than you. Okay. <laughs> okay, then go do it. <laughs> Prove me wrong. 
Alrighty, so we're out of undersea. We did the yeah. thing. Really can't. That's the name I was searching for. That's correct. That's the most oldest Pokemon, basically, because it's a fish that lives in the depths. Now we're gonna go to the Illumina spot because we're gonna see an Illumina Pokemon. The one that I dislike the most personally in a speed run. Um, there are two that are kind of difficult to get, but this one is just one that if you don't do it on time, it's a little bit um, annoying to take. Um, so you just gotta be really on your feet about it. Oh my gosh. It's wishy-washy. Okay, so here it's in solo form and you gotta orb them all. Not all of them. I think it's only four or five to yeah, be able four. to get it. <laughs> I thought it was five. Someone said five and I'm like, no, I've seen constant four. They get really happy when they get orbed. So and it's... Dog, please. It's funny because wishy-washy, we don't have like... You think like, oh, I can just take a picture of the fish and leave, but no. We no. need the wish wash in school form. That is a thing. And you also need to light it if the orbs. In school form. I still don't understand why it's called like that. Because who would want to go to school? It's because, but... you know, like, like in Nemo, the, the, like, the, all the fishes go together. Uh -huh. Like a school form. Also, they, it would be funny if they would go on top of the mountain. Oh my gosh. Also, this fish is really annoying, not gonna lie. It's a really big fish, but water physics were the worst thing in every single game. Alrighty, and that's it. <laughs> now we gotta wait like around, I don't, I don't really know how many minutes, probably like five minutes. <laughs> Big time. And it's just water. So. Just dark water. Uh, yep, dark water, nothing else, no other Pokemon. After and the second level, you get to see other Pokemon in this depth, but right now it's just wishy washy. Um, so I'm gonna be taking a step back to go to the washroom, so I'll leave you to donations if you have any. Oh, we have we've got donations, don't you fret? So have a lovely break. Let's see, Thank so you. we have $75 from Anonymous, which says orb, never forget the orb. <laughs> we have $20 from Anonymous, which is less than three. We have a $20 from Crazy Void. Thank you so, so much for that. We have $25 from Wizard Agent Zero. Thank you. We have the Jaded, the jaded Mew $15 donation. $25 from Chase. We have $25 from Anonymous. We're gonna get through this together. And that we are. We have $10 from Sable Dragon Rook, which says, now that Frozen Flygon has so many bows, I think doing things the hard way won't be so hard for the VVVVVVV incentive, which Let's take a look at that because I know that was opened up fairly recently. Because we ha still have a lot of donation incentives left, which are open, which uh, if anyone's interested in donating to, let us see what we have got. So many lovely donations. I know the goal on that one is $5,555.55 because uh, we like to be clever here at GDQ. Yes, that is for the uh, no out of bounds um, option. We will do things the hard way, but we do need to reach that $5,555.55. And so far, we're at 260. So uh, definitely want to work towards that. 
We also have a bunch of donation incentives open for the Celeste Custom Maps Glyph All A-Sides Run, which is tomorrow. Uh, we have uh, a Madeline name incentive. So if you want to name Madeline something, you can definitely donate to that. In the lead is uh, Madeline's name is Trans Rights at $2,345.95. Uh, the next closest is Bidoof at $297. So while it is possible it could overtake Trans Rights, it is uh, not super likely, but I think that is a challenge for uh, chat and our lovely donators to take on. We also have some lovely Super Metroid incentives. Those incentives, uh, we have the usual save or kill the animals bid war. And as I think it's generally the theme for our Frame Fatale events, save the animals is in the lead with $2,599.50. We have $525 for kill the animals. So if you're feeling vicious and uh, do not want those animals to survive, you want to, you know, save some time, then you're going to want to kill the animals. But if you are a fan of those cute, cute Super Metroid animals, they save the very end of the run, uh, but want to lose some time, then you're definitely going to want to save the animals. My gosh, uh, we're done already? Yeah, this is so short. <laughs> That's, um... Phil, please. That was not enough. <laughs> yeah. Phil, We Phil, should go please. back. <laughs> awesome. So we got a wishy-washy picture. Beedoof. This gives you a perspective on how long the run is, actually, with all all the long um, Illumina Pokemon. Scenes. Yeah, and the cutscenes and everything. The Illumina spots, even though you take the picture, the game is like, you need to go into the end for you to be able to skip it. Yeah, they don't let you skip it unless you've gone through all of it one time. Even when you find a new path, they are like, oh, you found a new path, you can't quit anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> you gotta stay. You gotta stay and see. Awesome. So now we're gonna go to the volcano. Yay. Which is uh, an, also one of my favorites, but it's, this is a little bit more tricky for me. Um, also known as Valuka. <laughs> Which is funny. Um, I always read it as Volcano. And then the, the place is called Voluka. I was like, I always read that as Volcano, so it's Volcano for me. Yeah. Um, Voluka is the island. Oh, okay. So this is Todd being like, oh my gosh, did you know that you can come into camp and take pictures of the Pokemon here? No one likes camp. All my homies hate camp. No, camp like, is torture. Okay. Volcano it is. Okay, I'm gonna be concentrating a little bit, so I'm gonna be passing it to you, Candy. No nope. worries. You have our beautiful Luxray right at the beginning. Sometimes the RNG is wrong, so he's like, you know where you're gonna zoom, and then you miss the picture. That's really bad, but thankfully, RNG is with us and then we got a right picture but that also can happen so you need to be covered with it and um i'm gonna get tyranto it's like the really big t-rex he's really mad all the time and uh, nice. also he lives on volcano who would be mad to live in a volcano that's really hot so we have our crops and also a fossil pokemon for people that don't know about it and uh, it's funny to see fossil Pokemon. You also have Aerodactyl. I forgot about it. I always forget about it. Aerodactyl is going to be important in the round. Uh, the fluffy cloud burp. Yeah, Zoltaria. And I miss the Swabby. That's also really cute. Tyranno, he's really mad. So he's going to roar you when you fluff your weight. Oh, no. He's also like provoking all the Pokemon. I don't know why. He's just always really mad. And he gives you a zoom because he's like, nope. I'm gonna yell at you, and then you're gonna move fast. So chat has a very important question, and that is, if there is a Magikarp in this stage... 
So, Reverie is sad there are some stages that has no much crap, so... Yeah, it doesn't. That's sad to hear. That is tragic. But like, in the Nintendo 64, if you want to find a Magic Carp Volcano, that is possible. We even have a, ca a category called Magic Carp Percent. Because there's a Magic Carp in every stage. I don't know how they survive in hot, in hot springs in the in the volcano, but they are there. They're special Magic Carps. No Carps. Fun fact, um, if you don't bop this one, so these Gravelers are going up, to a certain point, you can't bop them if they're too way up. And you're trying to bop them because at the end you're gonna get a picture that is gonna get you more picture more points for background Pokemon. So if you bop them there, it's gonna appear at the end, which is something you need. Also, Slugma is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's not this one. This one sucks. The one that just fell. The rest good. are really good. I was gonna say, isn't that the opposite? <laughs> because there's a a, a Slugma that just like. Yeah! It's like a waterfall, but it's a lava waterfall. But then we used to take a picture of that in the speed room. And then sometimes it just pays out and they're like, oh my god, if I miss it, I can get the point. Also, in this stage, we need exactly 30k. And it's also a re enter. So, it's gonna take a while here. And then you're gonna, we're gonna bonk a Slugman to delay because usually Slugman's like, oh, lava, I need to throw myself in it. So you're like, no, 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 stay there. No, no, no. And then we really nearby take a picture because size points. And then you warp, you, like I said, you warp certain Pokemon to get certain interactions. For Charmander, he's like, oh, I can't jump, I can't jump. But if you warp, it's like, I can't jump, I believe it. And then he start jumping from rock to rock. A really good and that's where you get the the graveler in the background. That's the one that you want to get in the in the background. Oh, the one they threw in the lava. Yeah, they they come back. No, they are fine now. So I may mean, throw Pokemon lava, but they are fine. They're a okay. Awesome. So we're done. We are gonna see how many points we got. Let's go, Professor. There's a mirror. So beautiful, I got them both looking at me. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a fun fact for high score. Luxury is uh, the gender is RNG. So the female has a, shape, a, a head shape smaller than the male. So that is better for pictures. So you can put better in the frame. For high score, you have a bunch of details. But that's a fun detail. Whoever wanna do high score. Just because in the game the itself, thing, yeah. they they change like some details in the Pokemon. Like Pikachu has a heart shaped tail. If it's female, if it's male has a like a, the 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 ton the thunder tail. Yeah, you you do have like the differentiations between gender, um, or sometimes they don't. So they tell you that when you go in and look into into your pictures and I think it does make a difference in like poses and stuff. Oh look at this Charmander just being so happy. The happy boy. The happy boy. Okay. Did we get 30k? We did. We did, but awesome. we actually got 8k more. Okay. Sometimes I say that um, you it's better to take one picture that will cost you some seconds more in the speed run rather than having to come back and take another picture. So whenever you feel like you're not um, you're not sure if you got it, it's better to take um, safety pictures. But as uh, as you keep like practicing, as I've kept practicing, I haven't needed all my safety pictures that I used to have. So now we're oh. gonna go again into volcano because we need to unlock something. But this is different. Just a hunch, but I'm feeling you'll find something new. Of course, this is a new uh, path that we have unlocked, and now we just gotta sit here. Yet again, we just gotta get to the end. We don't need to take any more pictures. So 
So if you want to read out some donations. donations, you got it. I'm just going to ask if it's donation time. We have a $25 donation from Kyverson saying, Heart! Thank you so much for that. And in a similar theme, we have $25 from Anonymous saying, Less than three. We had $25 from 12th with a happy face. You folks are also lovely. We have $20 from Iwagakure. Thank you so much. We have $100 from Belinda Bird. We have $10 from Support Class. It's been a great week. Thank you for your impact. We have $25 from Rush and Dragoness. I gave you my money, just like you said, Black Knight. We have $10 from Cat, which says choo-choo. Folks trying to get some trains going. Very happy and important and super helpful. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go on the other path that we didn't get to go before. It's um, called the Blue Room. The Blue Room, because we gotta see some blue magma. Have you yes. ever seen blue magma? We're about no. to. But they, yeah, they are good background points, so that's my thing. Background points. <laughs> Can be the lie. high scorer. Look at that magma. Looks like water. Almost as magic carp is just gonna appear out of there. If you throw a fruit fruit at it, sometimes it burns. So it's not recommended for you to step on it, but it's beautiful to look at it. And then <laughs> oh, all the Pokemon totally. just walk on that. And like the uh, when you level up, there's Flareon, Slugma, like Chinks, and everything going there. And you're like, okay, but that burns, right? And then they're like, ah, it's fine. It's like the the Altair in the the hot spring. The water might be so hot, but they're just there chilling. Yep. And, well, of course, you know, like, not taking pictures uh, will definitely save time. Um, yeah. But I wish I could take so many pictures like this little uh, Shinx is so cute. Okay, if you see... Oh my gosh, it's on fire. Or something that I really like that I might do to show everyone is uh, this. They're cool. Oh my gosh. Backpro point! <laughs> <laughs> we got the Illumina um, Crystal Bloom. We got it illuminated and now it's all pretty. I'm all about the pretty. I'm a sucker for pretty. Yeah, there's some fun interactions like um, in snow you can light a bloom and then the sky start like stargazing. It's really, really, really pretty. But only if you level up. Most things are like, oh, level up. Yeah. Another one, another debate that, that we had, and I will be showing you in a sec, is this. Is, are these blue or green? Are these blue or green? They are pants. Typhlosion's blue or green? Cause because that's um, a debate going on and I really, really want to know what Chad thinks. Cause I'm a little, it's just a little bit colorblind. So sometimes blue sounds weird for me. But uh, with Tibli, green, no, depends. Yeah, actually, depends on the artist because it's kind of a greenish blue. Like a turquoise. Um, I think it, they're blue with like a green tint, but people keep fighting me on it. It's blue, I agree with you. Alrighty. Yep, it's any percent. You only do the bare minimum to finish the game. So if you want to do all diamonds, uh, three hours is not enough. Ooh, all I, all diamonds. I say, yeah, all diamonds means you need 4K in every single pose and being every single pose, one, two, and three, and four stars. I still don't got all diamonds in my other file. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have 800 and something pictures. So now if the DLC, I don't know the exact number, but it's a punch. It's probably a thousand, no, not really a thousand, probably like 900 something. Yeah, I would say. Or I, I am really bad at math, so, but it's definitely more than 900. Alrighty. We have 
<laughs> yeah, we're we we're discussing that the other day. Like, Professor's just like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna send you to the volcano where there's a huge T Rex, there's an aluminum Pokemon, something that is really dangerous, right? And they're like, oh, I'm gonna send children then. No, yeah, no I guess on, send the child, of course. It's, it's the first thing to, to do. Fun fact Professor never left his lab, he only knows things about from pictures. Oh my gosh, we got the lava moth. This um, Illumina Pokemon is a little bit tricky, so there are multiple times where you can take them. You have to orb them first, no, uh, bop them first twice with an apple, and then you have to orb them for the picture to count. And they move a lot. They are going all around. Um, so if you're not able to take it, you have to come back and actually take it. Um, at the end, though, of the of the course, the moths are going to be looking at you and they're going to stop you for a good like 15 seconds. So there's a strat that I'm going to be trying right now and is taking it the last possible second to be able to get around like five seconds taken off of that. You don't have to wait too much at the end uh, because you already took the pictures and the, the Volcarona is not going to be in the end. Makes me a little bit nervous, but wish me luck. You and right now it. we got time for donations. Oh, while Excellent. we wait. Perfect. We have a $555 donation from Cat Augustine. And it says, thanks as always for running a great event for a great cause. Donating for the Fire Emblem birthday and House Bid Wars in honor of a friend of mine who'd very much enjoy to see uh, a Edelgard's root at, uh, at this event. And uh, to note, this is the last run of today, this uh, new Pokemon Snap Run. But the first run of tomorrow is in fact that Fire Emblem Three Houses run. And we have a few different donation uh, bid wars open for that. One of them is our house bid war. And it is between the Verdant Wind Golden Deer at $1,000, is $1,099.99, um, with Crimson Flower slash Black Eagles at 960. So if you have a favorite house between those, um, you know where you have to donate. We are also have a donation incentive for the main character's birthday. Um, you can donate for whichever option you wish. Um, in the lead is currently 0401 with $128. Uh, 1031 is $60 and 821 is $39.90. We also can name the main character name of Three Houses. So Malala is in the lead with $135. Popcat, uh, not too far behind with $127.20. And Gengar, also close behind at $120. So um, if you want to get those donations in, uh, I think all of those or most of those close right at the beginning of that run. So either tonight during this run or tomorrow before that run starts, and it's currently scheduled to start at 3.20 p.m. Eastern, um, you're going to want to get those donations in. Oh, we're so going to we be have... able to get... Okay. So, so we have this... Volcaron, the fire... Bird. It's oh actually gosh. a bug fire and I evolves a level 50. It was 50? That's as if my memory helps me. I believe it's 50. Well, yeah, it's one of the coldest Pokemon, I believe. Alrighty. We got into a fight, but I got it. So now we just gotta wait until we finish. They're gonna do a little dance, they're gonna go around. Volcarona takes a while. <laughs> Volcarona behave. Exactly. But now they're not going to be right in front of us at the end. They're just going to do their thing and they're not going to stop us as much. So that saves a little bit of time. Yeah, we are not looking at it, but there's a blue and they're like, what if I stay right next to that blue and then that takes a while? 
Because the game is like, okay, take opportunity, take a picture, take a picture. And you're like, nah, I already have a picture. Yeah, but those are really pretty pictures. Um, whenever you can get Volcarona, there's really, really cool poses. And now we just gotta wait, and now we're moving. Finally. Awesome. And... We're gone. Yeah, Brooklyn yeah. involves a level 59. I know it was 50 something. Yeah, my memory is not that bad. Okay. I remember grinding on so much. And which game is this? Uh, Pokemon. Uh, Volcarona before she's a Lavesta, and then for her to evolve, you need uh, to bring it to level 59 if you have a pre evil. And that takes a long while. It's like evolving March Guard, but way harder. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, we got it. We have gotten the Banquet of Fire. We're gonna be moving on to mm, forest. Now, this is the place that um, I've been working on since the update. Because um, normally, before the update, uh, you normally always went into there, there's many um, seasons, so all the seasons in forest, and you normally went into summer every time that uh, you went into forest for the first time. But now, after the update, the RNG has made it that you can either go into summer or spring. Who knows? Let's find out. So you gotta learn two different, um, two different kind of routes. Uh, to be able to get enough points to move forward. So I'm really hoping it's summer. I really like the summer route. Um, but if not, we do have the spring one, which is a tiny bit more intricate. And it is not as much time saved, but we will see what the RNG has for us today. Another thing that the oh DLC God, has changed. Yep, pretty much. Okay, so this Trevenant can make me trip. And uh, I do not like that. So, Mr. Trevenant, do not. And we're gonna be waiting until we get to the season. Uh, it's a pretty scary forest. Actually, but forest. Also, it's pretty. Um, I find it pretty too. Forest, we have actually two routes. Uh, the main route gives you summer or spring. The side path gives you um, winter and autumn. But like, it, you can manipulate with Espion. Espion is the key to change the season, but in level 1, you don't have Espion, so you just can only pray. So you got hot. Oh, summer. <laughs> you yes, I was, I was hoping for summer. See, uh, this my own spicy face because summer is the best you get points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got excited. Summer is the, the easiest one for me. Okay. Because at the beginning, uh, at the beginning, the game is really slow because you only get an uh, engine. Um, Next to the end, the game is like, okay, need to enjoy. So it's an auto scroller. It's not like you can't, you can only control the directions of the car, but basically, you can control the car itself. You just kind of you can move it a little bit. It's not like you're controlling like a character or anything. Also, look at Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is so happy. I love Bulbasaur. I mean, I love Pokemon, <laughs> so I'm suspicious. <laughs> Bulbasaur is so cute, honestly. No mad. Why are you angry? There you go. A zomphazan, which is funny. A zomphazan. <laughs> uh, is it kind of means mad in my language, but uh, uh, oh, really? Like, yeah. So I was like, oh, that that, that makes sense. Zomphazan. But uh, uh, it has an egg. So when you bonk it, you can see the egg on the nest. So that's not that's not the background points. The background points are the nest. 
Yeah. Um. Okay, so now we've got to wait until this Trevenant is sleeping. We're just going to be really mean and we're going to wake him up. We're going to spook him. I really like it. I, I don't know if I should feel bad about it, but it's it's kind of funny. You're doing a spook. And spook. Oh my gosh. And blue mouse back rock points. Yeah. And we bop the sauce box because he can stop us because he's not moving. He's looking around. Get on with it, buddy. We got places to be. Alrighty. So now we gotta be waiting for the last part of Forest. In this part, you can also get another side path, but this is the main path at the end. I really like Forest because it has like many different little regions that you can go to. Um, and you can find like all of the Pokemon in there. Um, and it's just really intricate, so I find it really cool. Okay, we're going into the fog. Spooky. Yeah, but the game was like six to three Pokemon, and it was six three pic or six three pictures. So now it's a bunch of Pokemon, two hundred something and eight hundred pictures. Okay, so this is a tricky one. We gotta get Beware to help us out. So oh. let's see if Beware decides to help us out. Also, human food is actually toxic for Pokemon, so that's why you have food fruit. Yeah. That's a fake apple, like in the old game. We have apple-shaped as Pokemon food, because technically they say that it's going to be toxic for Pokemon. Because oh, they have sweet. berries, no apples. Oh, Bulbasaur apparently now it doesn't like us anymore. Dog. There's Magikarp, as promised, and Lotad. You can be chillin'. Some of this Pokemon just look like they're so chillin', and I'm like, mood. Can I just please chill like that? Same deal. Just like chill. But something that this game adds that they didn't mention because something that I want to get later game is a uh, burst mode. But like instead of you taking one and one picture, you can just Click one time, then take six pictures. It's wonderful. I actually can choose the number of pictures, but I always protect. Yeah, and it's sad because you can only get that after you beat the game. Yeah, um, Todd is like, I have the new thing. It could have been helpful, Todd. But no. Same with um, Turbo. So you're also able to go fast faster, which is definitely good for uh, speed run, but you get a little bit later in, in the game, which is also kind of sad, but we're about to get there. Alrighty. Good sauce box and bubble yeah. so cute. Things that slow down the cart. If you zoom in too much, it slows down the cart. If you look on left or right, it slows down the cart. If you look I don't know if in this game looking down uh, as low as down, but like you need to look for as much as possible. Because although you don't control the card, your interactions like throwing apples, like moving to the side or looking, is gonna slow you down. Looking behind is the worst thing you can do. It's gonna totally make your card like go way slower. Super slow. That is called card mechanics, but like. Take pictures, have fun. Don't, don't care about the cart. Or you're gonna think too much. Don't think about the cart too much. Yeah, I me. Mean, in the 64th is really important, but uh, here you can chill more. Chill, chill, chill. We have made it. So, we're gonna be getting out of here. And boop, boop. all the way up to the next Illumina Pokemon, which is. My favorite. Um, my favorite Illumina Pokemon. Um, is it my favorite? Yes. There's some that are pretty cool, but um, this one is really pretty. And as you already have seen me for about two hours say how much I love pretty. This one is very pretty. Shiny Milotic is one of the beautiest Pokemon I've ever seen. Yeah. 
Because it's golden. Golden. Also, Fluffy is easy. cute too. He reminds me of Fluffy. <laughs> Want to hug a beware? Apparently, you can die, but I, you know, what a beautiful way to die in the arms of beware. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> not recommended. <laughs> we are in a car for a reason. This is the e one of the easiest, if not the easiest, uh, Illumina Pokemon to take. You just do that. Eventually, you're gonna hit it, and then you wait for it, and then you look back and you show. Orps, orps. Yeah, like uh, like I said, the picture is a way the, the professor do to do research, like from region to region. He used the pictures, like the localization, everything of the Pokemon, and then do a study about it through the pictures. I don't know how the technology actually works, but that's basically what he does. You remember yeah. Professor Walk? He's like, oh, that's a good picture, or that's a bad picture, but like he doesn't do anything with it. Yeah, I know. We're the ones out here, risking our lives to take pictures of Pokemon. I really, really like this stage, the uh, Illumina in the forest. When my you get to the second level, you get like such pretty pictures. One of my favorites is uh, Ninetales. Um, Ninetales interacting with Milotic is just so cute. And that is my favorite part. Is when you make my Lark surf and then he almost rounds Lotel. Oh. <laughs> it's really yeah. funny. He yeah. surfs his Lotel, Lotel is like, oh my god, I can't get back. He gets like a turtle. He turns on his back, like, oh my god, I can't get back. Oh, poor Lotel. He got surfed. Poor thing. We're almost there. Um, if you want to read any. Uh, couple donations, we definitely have the time. Yeah, for sure. We have a $37 donation from Val. Thank you so much. We have a $10 donation from Sims. And we have $25 from Bernie Cinders. Thank you all so much for that. Uh, working and getting our donations ready for the runs tomorrow. Uh, as mentioned, we do have our Fire Emblem Three Houses run tomorrow, but we also have a Celeste Custom Maps Glyph run. So, and we have a donation incentive open to name Madeline. Currently in the lead is Trans Rights with $2,345.95. Bidoof is not so close behind at $297. So, uh, and we have some other options there as well, all excellent names. Um, but if you want your own name there or to help contribute to one of the existing names, uh, you have time to get those donations in. For Be sure. Oh, and now I, we see Melodic sleeping. Bye-bye. Bye forever. Goodbye forever. Bye forever. We have a $150 donation from Bookworm42. Thank you so very much. We also have a $15 donation from uh, Kyrell. Thank you. Everyone's so generous. I know. Pretty, pretty cool. It's You're really doing this awesome. for, for charity to all those children to get education. Really awesome. You do. Alrighty. That was really good. My Lotte. Got a cute picture. I love that picture. Can't Just confirm it's her singing. Like... It's a two something round, so it's quite exhausting for the run though. But it's worth it. This game is really comfy. It's very comfy, yeah. Alrighty, we have made it out of forest, out of Bello Silva, the island, and we have unlocked the next place. We're having pretty good pace. Pretty, pretty good. Now we're gonna be going to Snow. We're gonna go to Duras, Duras Island. 
that was on a map land. And they're talking about all all the the things that they think about this. Like, why are they Illumina Pokemon here? Why have they not appeared before? What happened? Was there a Mirai or something? So this is what they're trying to find out with all the pictures that we're taking. Um, and now we're gonna be going out of the map. Apparently, they never knew that this island was there. But it's just really just there. A whole island. But that's okay. A whole island <laughs> that they didn't know was there. <laughs> it's just chilling there. Now we're gonna go to snow. And now we can use turbo. That's something important. That's what they're gonna be telling us right now. Oh, yeah, the turbo. one can now go fast. And we like I mean, that in the speedrun. The turbo is not actually turbo, but it helps. It definitely helps. It's better than going um, grandma pace. So, <laughs> I, I, I prefer the turbo. I don't know, it sounds like my pace. <laughs> I'm here for the speed mode. There's slow, there's fast, and then there's super slow, which is grandma pace. <laughs> That's where I live. Uh, awesome. And this ones are pretty uh, tricky, so I'm gonna be letting it more for Candy to talk about. But um, yeah, I will be around here saying stuff. We're gonna go to snow. With in snow, I think we need less points, if I'm not mistaken. We need 25k points. We're gonna get Hurt, Vivilla, Mimos, Wine, Snowrun, Daily, Magikarp, and then people. I always forget about Magikarp. Yeah, this is a freezing land and there's a Magikarp somewhere that I can't confirm because it's in the spreadsheet. But, um, yeah, there's nothing much to talk about Snowfist because you literally just go up the hill and then go inside a little cave and then it's better when you get this side path, right? But here in the yeah. morning, there's not really nothing special that like we can talk about. I was like, Mammoth Swine is chilling with his children. Um, it's just like, when you level up, things gonna get better. But here we're gonna get... Mammoth Swine and then... To remember, and then Zora. Yeah, for for depending what you do, it's funny. In day, it doesn't affect as much, but at night, you can orb or throw a fruit fruit at the fur. So depending what you do, fur is gonna do different interactions, which is really uh, something that's really different than the mechanic of this cake. Um, and here we have a seal that's gonna come out, just like chilling. Like it's a hot spring, but it's a really cold freezing spring. I don't recommend going there and just... And then he got in your way because it's you. Just like chill. Yep. Uh, we got there by the spiel. If if you think you can put your feet in cold water, imagine the magic cup swimming. He doesn't know the danger he's in. Um, and then there's the hot spring actually that's on the left, but... It's only gonna be important at night. But there's also a hot spring into the mountains, in the cold mountains. Awesome. So now we're gonna see how many points we got. We definitely got um, hacked by this feel, but he gets a pass because it's freaking cute. It's all all right. Okay. Her is also pretty cute. Mm -hmm. That reminds me that had, there's a, a video saying, okay, uh, for, it, for it walking until Pokemon Diamond Remake comes by, and then that's gonna happen. So, Fur is not gonna be walking anymore. I think it's just a stream somewhere. But I found it funny. I was like, oh, they actually made a remake. I was like, no, Fur can knock anymore. There's like a little music. It's like, I think it's from. I don't know, my memory has been really bad. <laughs> yeah. Do I hear Looking. ferrets in music? As in ferret yeah. walk? Yes! Just saying. Yes. One of the towns, I don't I haven't actually played the game that comes the music comes from. I uh, I play it, but then uh, I was trying to remember the name of the music and I'm like, okay, my memory's not helping me. No, I only found it out by googling it at one point. I was like, oh I thought the name of the song was Ferret Walk. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, chat, you can tell us what is the name of the Furret Walk song, other than Furret Walk, because it is known. 
is now the deferred location. <laughs> I love some feel. Snow feels nice. Ah, oh, now snow feels nice as a, as a feast. Oh, I gotta say. Even my spreadsheet gets scared when he sees it. Alrighty. So, now, of course, we're gonna go to Snow Feels Night. Again, super pretty. Um, it's really tricky. Now, we need 45k instead of 25k. Um, so again, I'm gonna be concentrating. Sometimes I get this one a little bit um, hectic, but let's see if we can get it in order. That is confirmed. The song is Akumala, or Akumala Town is the name of the fur walk song. It's the hometown in Gen 5. Perfect. The more you know. The more you know. I know it was Black and I, then I was like, okay, the name, the name. Come on, Candy. And then my brain's like, oh, the two brain cells are working, they're not working together. Um, that's different ways to do Mighty Anna in this part. Like, you can get the one at the log, or just uh, get the one that's, like, rolling, like, right in front of you. Because that one can be two stars or one star, depending on how I take it. But then also can get blue points. And fur here, like I said, you can or bonk the fur it or orb the fur it. In this case, you're gonna bonk because we need sand slash in front of us. Um, so it's really important for you to bonk in the speed round or because there's a different sand slash too. There's the sand slash just chilling right there, you can also get him. And this part is important, there's a crack and then a bunch of people miss the crystal that's right at the bottom of it. Uh, I'm gonna say I missed that, but don't tell anybody. Uh, it's just like, isn't the most like, place that you wouldn't think of like oh it's shiny down there but why would I look at it no, maybe it's a light somewhere I don't know Pokemon Pokemon shines everything shiny here can be anything oh yeah so you got sand slash because if you don't get a sand slash we also have a backup but we got the sand slash wonderfully so now we're gonna go for Jinx my favorite part is Jinx dancing actually Jinx is my favorite Pokemon since Pokemon Snap N64 and then there's that liver that, that has a really cool interaction that he gives present, right? So he can steal your fluff fruit and give you as a present. So it's also funny. But for now we have Venilux also known as the ice cream apparently. And um, he's like trying to interact with the Jinx. They have fun interactions, how I gotta say. Um, you have beep up and I not even need to bonk the beep up and also there's everywhere at the top But uh, Bravare is already gone, but there's no problem. He's also at the end of the stage And uh, we need to bonk this fuse for them to get out of the way. Yes, that's a little min, but we need to do it Also, that bonus now. He needs to stop his like he just don't And I also need a picture of it there's also the Frozen Moth at the end, if you missed it. Uh, there's the four size interaction that's in between the Vulpex and the Piplup and the Sphilos. They're like... Piplup is doing a run. The Piplups are over there, they're doing like a, a run, like a literary run, of the, which ones um, reach first. So the one that comes, like, uh, first place. Um... Uh, it, Vulpex throws no on it, like say, Yo, you're the winner! Yay! Party! Jinx percent. <laughs> okay, in the old Pokemon Snap, we had a thing called Jinx percent. That is, it's called Jinx percent because we have an energy Pokemon that it can possibly not, ha not appear in the stage. And then that's why it's called Jinx percent. And we need to go for Jinx. We definitely go for Jinx today. Yeah, um, you. You're always having a party. Touch, touch, touch. We need her doing a party like touch, touch, touch. Alrighty. So that was his no. It was cold and brief, but uh, we got it. I love Sand Slash. It's so cute. Alola Sand Slash is indeed really cute. But also Alolan uh, Sand True. I so love Alolan Vupix. It's my favorite. Where's the bomb snow? Beverly is funny. When he goes, 
depending what you do with the fairy and depending which level in the stage you are, uh, you can get it to go down on the ground. And it does an idle move that is he can kick in the air. So imagine a bird, a bird kicking the air. It's really funny. It's a bird on the ground kicking the air. One more you can ask for. We made it. Okay, so now, because we just unlocked the crystal bloom as we have had in the other stages, we have to go back and take a picture to be able to unlock the next stage. So if I hadn't gotten it, it would have been okay. Um, but we did get it. So we're just gonna go take whatever picture um, and it's all gonna be good. Everything's so good. Awesome. We're gonna go back. Oh yeah, we're forced to go back in Snowfield tonight, but uh, we always get extra points, so it's normal. We don't need to read the 45k exactly on like all the first time you go in, in Snowfield tonight one. But like the very minimum is 39k for Snowfield tonight one. And then when you re-enter, you need to get the 45k. Yep. Because to unlock new levels, you need to get level 2 in every single level. Include the luminous box. Awesome. We got it. So now we unlock the next one. Belly Bird is really funny. It's a really good Pokemon. The, yeah, the funniest interaction when he's like, Oh, I'm gonna get you flu but like, Oh, do you want it back? Forgive for you. It's so funny. It's like, you put it in his little pocket, and I was like, oh, you know what? Get an apple. And I was like, I just threw that at you. Uh, yeah, so the rule is, everything that's on the ground is a dog, and everything that's on the sky is a bird. Just <laughs> Aelor. Aelor is his inception. He's a bird. Because he flies in the water. He has flat wings. I agree. I see no flaw in your logic. <laughs> Precious dog, exactly. Okay, cave is also pretty tricky. I'm gonna be concentrating. Like that, that last part of the run is pretty, pretty tricky. Um, but now we got this. So I'm gonna get carp thing. The gel, uh, the gel that look that have bunny ears. It's funny. One of these they ask, like, what is? Which one is carving? Is the rock that has bunny ears? <laughs> it's indeed a gel, and um. It does have bunny ears. We're in cave. We need 40k for a cave. And for our first pass, we're gonna get carbon. It's optional, but um, it's better to take it. Joltek, Ganger, Glalie, Fervor, Rogan, Sabley, Jodude, Crobat, and Magikarp. So I wonder where Magikarp is. It has not gonna give us spoilers, but he's somewhere. I can't believe that. There he is. There they are, actually. It's three Magikarps. And then in high school, they're like, no, this Magikarp needs to have something. Why are they just in the waterfall really far away? They need to do something. They are Magikarps. They just splash. And also for Grogog, they need the cheeks. They do like the little thing like frogs. They, they like evolve their cheeks. We need the cheeks. Because it's, it's like an idol animation. This has a boy. I indeed has a boy. When are we gonna get? We also gonna get the no bad. Yeah, no bad is a Zuba, but more cool. Can't grab her. <laughs> and they also have him proud of that does an idol animation that's actually like three stars because usually idol animations are one star. And then this pro bad looking at you like you did something. True. And then we got the Geodude. I always forget there's a Geodude there, but there's a way to make him drop too, like a, a golem. Mm hmm. Yeah. But he's gonna stay there, don't worry, you're not gonna play him. He's fine. He's not gonna get flushed today, but another day maybe. 
There's not enough love fruit for everyone, apparently. So sad. Okay. Let's see how we fit here. Card bank. It's a really beautiful card bank, I gotta say. It's a rock. Apparently it's just a bunny rock. <laughs> All rocks are bunnies, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice flaily. Because that dude dude is just hanging out. You're right. Pro Gunk is fighting the rock. That's a funny picture. Awesome. Got Sableye eating. Or... I don't know what else he's doing. I think he's eating. Rampardos being Rampardos. Always mad at you. Robot is also mad at you. Apparently everyone in cave is mad at you. I mean... If I couldn't see the day, like, the light of the day, I also would be a little bit in a bad mood. That's what happens when I don't go outside and see the sun. <laughs> so I and, get it. And that would also be a, like cave of introverts. They're all just like, no, no, we were here don't and quiet me. and now there's people. <laughs> no people, please. You know, that's funny that Kiroba evolves his love. So I don't know why he's always mad. Maybe he wants more love, so... Okay. about it, you're gonna get him one day. Now we're gonna go to cave two. And we gotta make sure that we're on level two. Because there's another path that we gotta take. And we just gotta zoom. So... We're also, again, in a place where I'm only zooming. And nothing else to do. So if you got any donations that you wanna read out, go ahead. Oh my goodness, yes, absolutely. We have $15 from Captured Bird. We need to see all chapters of Glyph. I can't express this enough. And that is relating to the, uh, the Celeste Glyph runs we mentioned earlier. There is a donation incentive to change that from all A-sides to all chapters, which let's be clear, friends, Celeste of any sort is something you want to see all of, but um, I've heard very good things about these Glyph custom maps. So uh, that is a total of $5,000 to get, and we are currently at 20. So we're going to need all of your help, chat, to get that. So, But I have faith. We've reached some amazing goals already today. We also have $100 from Brian. Thank you so much. We have... $25 from Check Your Head Crab. Don't worry, I'm checking my head crab right now. We have $5 from Kitara. Thank you so much. $25 from Patches. We also have $25 from Bad News Nate. $20 from Svenska's Fitch. $10 from Doc Dr. Zong PhD. I wish I had a PhD in that. $50 from Pylon. So many lovely friends. See, it's no. these sort of donations which will help us get to those all chapters glyph runs. Exactly. Keep donating people. It's for a great cause. Okay, so we finished here. By the way, we're going to the next one. And we are still in pretty good pace, so I'm feeling good about it. We are in really good pace, actually. Yeah. One could say PB pace, but I'm not gonna jinx it. <laughs> I was like, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> we still got a bit to go. We still have Stilix in our Rose Island. Exactly. Steelix used to be one that I hate it because it's just all jumpy. But, but, now I've learned of a strat that will make things easier. But you still have to take it at the end, so you've got to be careful. But it's pretty okay. It's pretty, um, pretty easy to take. 
you just gotta be paying attention, which is something that is hard for me sometimes. But um, it is not that hard, so we're just gonna be zooming until the end to see Mr. Steelix. Yeah, because the game understands, like, okay, it's because he explains. Uh, you throw apples, and then Steelix should jump, and then you should throw orbs at it when, when it's jumping because he was um, disturbed by the apple. But then the game understands, like, if you don't do anything, it's like, oh, you're not gonna try, you're not gonna throw an apple, you're not gonna make him jump, you're not gonna throw orbs at it. So at the end, it's still like, okay, throw orbs at me, take a picture, come on, take a picture of me, me. And then that's how he gets Steelix. He's just chilling there. Yeah. I wish all the Illumina Pokemon would be that easy. Just wait till the end, just throw an orb, and then you're good. <laughs> but no. Yeah. And now we gotta enjoy this Illumina Pokemon. I think Asilix is the only one that's normal size. Because Meganium? No. <laughs> it's a really huge dinosaur. He's there, he's like, take a picture of me! I'm the star here, take a picture of me! And then just take a picture and leave, which is really good for speed running, but... For his high score, you need to orbit. Alrighty, so, so here... Before uh, we're able to return, the professor's like, oh my gosh, those are some ruins that we want to get to see. They don't, they look uh, man-made, so let's go check them out. So... That's that's what we do. We're gonna go check them out. It's funny and because it's... it's an actual path, but you never see it. And then suddenly the professor, oh, I saw a path there. And you're like, how? <laughs> when? Where? And it's way <laughs> behind. It? Yeah. It's way behind. It's not at the end. It's way behind. And then we're gonna see the Illumina Pokemons and then why they're there. Is it the ancient ruins that gonna tell everything with pictures? Oh my gosh. It's a huge mural with all the Illumina Pokemon. Oh my oh, gosh. What is missing? Who the QV? There's one missing in the middle. Who the QV? Hmm. Hmm. Let's think about it. So yeah, right here, I guess they want you to like be taking pictures and looking around. But what we're gonna be doing is just staying still. So and waiting we... until the professor's down done with the, the talking. So it'd be a good time for donations because he's gonna be talking for a while. I can't agree. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the beautiful cutscene. We're speedrunning. We don't care about that. <laughs> so we have ooh $100 from Anonymous saying more games. Yes. Uh, we definitely want more games, and we have more coming up tomorrow, so definitely stick around for that. Lots more donation incentives to meet for those, and uh, definitely looking forward to that. Anonymous being very generous today, we have $25 from Anonymous, another $25 from Anonymous, and $15 from Anonymous. Thank you so much, Anonymous. You're, you're showing us all up, but we appreciate you and all the hard work you're doing yes. also let me remind all of you that we are working together with the yeti again this year and they will be donating five dollars per flame fatale shirt uh sold uh to malala fund so you can find these shirts at the yeti.com uh which is spelled t-h-e-y-e-t-e-e dot -E -E com so you are definitely going to want to take a, a check out these shirts. Uh, it has been designed once again by LLK and it is gorgeous. So definitely check that out. I definitely got mine. My boyfriend bought me one. So I'm, I'm just gearing up with the Flames Fatales t-shirt. It's really that, pretty. Yeah, yes. it's really good. I really love it. It's really good work. Awesome. Ooh, nice. My okay. brain is a little fried right now, but uh, we get in the end of the room. Oh my gosh, what is that? All the Illumina energy is going towards an island that we have not seen before. I like it. 
Where do you guys think that the last Illumina Pokemon is gonna be? Is it gonna be a legendary, a legendary or no? Because <laughs> all the Pokemons right now are or not a legendary, although they were Illumina. Got some text to match through. They seem to like to speak a lot when they're thinking out loud. I think that's me when I'm like thinking, overthinking. I like to speak out loud. So I'm sorry for anyone that has heard me complain. I I think things through when I'm talking. When do high score? I talk with the picture, so that's fine. I was like, I know awesome. you could be a little more center, but no. <laughs> that happens. We're going to space. No, the only person that goes to space is Minion. Oh. CJ's hand doom. Later, the dog. So here, what we're gonna be doing, the only thing that we're gonna be doing is taking a picture of the crystal bloom because we need the orbs for something. I missed the, another crystal bloom that it is in an expected place that I also missed. Let's not get hacked by the dogs. When the dog is actual dog. What was? <laughs> and now we're gonna be zooming to the end, but we're gonna be coming back a second time, so we can get a look of this place, which I find beautiful. Okay, so a fun fact about this stage: we don't take picture of any Pokemon. We're just like in the ruins. We don't. That's the that's the um, exception don't. to the rule. You don't yeah. need to take pictures here or level since, up. Since it's the last stage, you don't need to unlock another stage. So like, oh, you know what? Get your Pokemon, so I'm not going to take picture or anything. And the only thing, that, the only picture you need is for the blue for you to get their orbs. But for now, no Pokemon, no level up. How wonderful that can be. I got owned by the dogs, but we're not going to do it next time. It's very hard to, to know when where the dogs or when they're going to go because of the RNG or where to look into, but we can manage it. There you go. That's the end of Ruins. Number one. And then we're gonna re-enter because now we're gonna have orbs, which is a really important part. You continue this run because that's the only state that you unlock. You need to do another special interaction. Yeah. This crystal bloom is really tricky to get if you don't know where it is because it doesn't look like it's actually shiny. So you're like, where is it? Oh, it's funny. They decide to put a bloom that's yellow in the day. Like, how <laughs> are we gonna see if it's shiny or not? Exactly. Yeah. Alrighty. Now we're gonna go <laughs> yet again. Yeah, Golurk is a thing, all I gotta say. It's funny, it, it's also fun that his name is Golurk. <laughs> Yo, Lurk. Because I already do. Golurk, and then, like I said, uh, use orbs to charge Pokemon up. So when you orb a Golurk, he's like, oh, I can move. So he move out of the way. Oh, he's like, oh, that tickles. But, uh, because it's like uh, energy, it's like uh, he's being charged. I would like to and propose that Golurk is a dog, because Golurk dog. Come on. <laughs> I, I I can agree with that. I can get behind it. Um, this is my favorite orb, even though it's not super. Um, Colorful? I don't know. It's something about it that is like super pretty. But Golarks also fly, so they are suspicious. Hmm. That's true. A flying dog. He's a flying dog. We confirm. <laughs> so now, what are you gonna do? We're well, like, oh, but you're getting runes again. What are you gonna do? So. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like every single fountain, let's say fountain, it's kind of a fountain that have different forms of the Illumina Pokemons. Ears, you, you need to light the blooms. 
And then which receiver has a different color? Because I don't know if anybody also noticed. Every um, not a stage, but like every area has a different color of a crystal boom. So in ruins, we get all the blues together. Oh, so I sniped the go lurk. Nice. That's something that is a little bit tricky to do, um, but uh, I was able to do it. But okay, so hopefully we can go here. Sometimes I can snipe the the elder gloss. This crystal blue. Oh yeah, sometimes if you hit the orb on the ground, it's gonna spread and then uh, it can also hit the blue. Which is a lucky shot, not gonna lie. Yeah, I've I've had it just once. And also, Nato. Nato is really cute. It's just a bird that, like, it's a ball. It's a really good bird. So, we got all the balloons when we got the principal balloon together. So, what are you gonna do with it? Oh, look at this. We opened a new path. We could have thought that huge hole over there is gonna be a new path. But that's okay. I need to light up everything. <laughs> I need to light up every single balloon to notice that's a hole right there. Oh, that's fine. What does sniping the gold lurk do? So, because um, we have to orb them, um, the gold lurk goes really slowly. So, if you snipe him before you get there, the gold lurk has moved already. So, you can uh, orb the crystal bloom faster. So, that's just helpful for them. For the speedrun to go fast. We go fast. The most cutest interactions when uh, not to when for a fruit fruit. Uh, in certain levels, he doesn't try to eat it. He just pick up his leg and then uh, lift himself up up the fruit. Does the cutest things I've ever seen. Yeah, and oh, we didn't take any pictures. I'm sorry, Professor. Oh, it's we gotta. Funny get how, how Professor does a really mad face. Like you didn't take any pictures. Like why you literally right. went out to take pictures? Why you can't with none? I came with nothing. Why yes. you do this? Ooh. Awesome. So now we're headed to the last course of the speed run. What are you gonna be? -na 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 -na. I'm not gonna tell you guys, need to guess. You need to guess. Is it Mew oh. in the clouds again? <laughs> no, but I, I actually thought of you could be. But he, he is in the game, but it, not it, as it's the last boss. But it's kind of funny because uh, the last one, the last boss, which is the Illumina Pokemon, is the same concept. You have to still hit. A, a, um, oh, this here, yeah. The bubble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's uh, fun. Pretty fun. So you guys see a tree, right? I who think if you play all the Pokemon series, gonna know who the, who the tree is. It's not Trevenant, that I can't confirm. And this is the energy of all the other Illumina Pokemon. And they're all combining into... The last Illumina Pokemon. The most powerful of all. A giant no, Bidoof. <laughs> it's not Bidoof, I was going to say a wish for, but no, he's not a tree. It's definitely Bidoof. Sudo oh, Widow is in camp. I was going to say, fun fact, Sudo is actually a rock. We got a Xerneas. Who Heck played yeah. Pokemon X? Knows that Xerneas is actually a tree, the, the, the rocket, uh, rocket team. Not rocket, but like you guys know, the enemies try to steal the power of it. Zernier's. Okay, so we do have to like snipe this Pokemon with the orbs and it moves a lot. So Oh yeah, it's annoying. It's really annoying. You guys look at this level, but it's just maybe just throw an orb at it. And until the orb reaches it's already gone. I was gonna say it's really far. You look in the bike, but it's actually really far. If you zoom me. Okay, so we gotta take it in here. Sometimes I can snipe it there, but here's the easiest part to like get it. Oh, 
It's complicated to remember the names because uh, depending on the, Ooh, on the nationality you play it, on the nationality, depending on the language you play it, they have different names, they have different adaptations. So that's why sometimes I'm like, uh, uh, uh this. <laughs> so you guys can identify it. Alrighty, I've taken a picture. Now we're zooming to the end. Um, lately, I've heard about this thing called the Xerneas skip in the speedrun community, and it's um, it's interesting because apparently, if you get it around here, it comes out of here, and you get it there, um, you are able to skip <laughs> the last cutscene. But I tried it already, and I got it, but unless you haven't taken the picture, it works. But if you gotta risk not having the picture right until the end, and if you don't have the picture, you have to go back. So today we're gonna play it a little bit safe, but definitely if you wanna be um, someone that risks your run for the sake of it, I, I assure you, you could probably try and do Zarnia skip. And now, sir, imagine that you missed the skip, right? And they're like, oh, what if I press retry, right? So I can retry this stage. So Zarnia is the only stage if you press retry. You have a retry in the cutscene. Like, why? Yeah. Don't do that. That's horrible. Yeah. Time loss. Because yeah. you not only skip it, you just repeat it. Like, no. I, I swear I almost cry when they done in my run. I just skip. I have gotten it twice already, and um, maybe one day I'll do a run trying to do Sarnia skip and see if I can get a PB with that, because you can completely just get rid of this cutscene. <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh, yeah, but Sarnia is one of my favorite Pokemon, and uh, apparently it's uh, it was supposed to look like an X. But like someone said, like I don't know why they did two Y legendary Pokemon. <laughs> because they actually look like a Y, but uh, it's an X. The Y is way way better. Don't like that. There we go. And we're gonna just be mashing, 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 mashing. We got the Xerneas. We are ready, ready, ready to finish this game. Woo, woo, woo. My brain is frying, but it worked at the end. <laughs> I like your song. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like your words, funny man. Okay. Let's do this. Let's rock. Let's okay, bunny rock. Be... Let's now bunny... it's only mashing. Let's that... carving. Does that mean I can pop in with a couple of donations? Yeah. Go Fabulous. We have $10.81 from Bradley Saber 22. Combined my pennies for my three favorite Pokemon. 54 for Psyduck, 155 for Cyndaquil, and 872 for Snom. Shout out to the runner, commentator, staff, and tech. You're all doing a great job. We also have $25.50 from NFF Fan saying, You're cute, chat. Less than three. No, you're cute, but you know they're right. There you go. Mesh progress. Uh, that's a TV. That's Was a TV. Time? Yep, this time. Congratulations. There you go. Nice. Well, that's always a run of version two. Any percent of new Pokemon Snap. Thank you for everybody that say everybody that donated and uh, thank you for staying until the end. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. It's been pretty, pretty fun. Uh, it was a great run. Everyone was great. Um, and yeah, we did it. Oh, look at that. Really, really happy about it. Evie! That's really neat. Yeah, and now we got the, the credits where you can sh you can see all the pictures that you that you've taken. GG! Really happy. GG's. GG's. 
That was fabulous. I'm only in like the jungle stage casually and now I'm just like, I want to play this again. Yeah. Yes. I this love game this game. It's really pretty. It's I'm so suspicious. pretty, so cool. So it's so cozy too. If you're just feeling like not doing much that you're you have to think about a lot, you just sit down and like take pictures of a Pokemon and it's a pretty fun game. It's a really fun game. If the new DLC that came out is even more funnier, more pictures to take, and more points for high score. <laughs> I also really like the music. Um, it also helps for it to be cozy and, and, and cute. The music that they chose for each stage is just really good and on point for each stage. Yeah, like Old Snap. Yeah, that's true. Well, if anybody haven't played like the Old Snap, I would recommend before playing the new Snap. Both are really great. But if you prefer to start from the new, also good. It's a really good game, can't deny. Yeah, I, I definitely really want to play that. Um, I don't have an N64. <laughs> I also don't have a Wii or a Wii U. So I might just like get them. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, definitely would be cool to see what the difference is after I've played this game. Yeah, the I've technically learned the speed run for the original, though I think I've only run through it once, and uh, definitely very similar, but also very different games. Long yeah, also like uh, the OG Snap, the speed run is around 22 minutes oh, and yeah. some seconds. Really different from a two hour and 41 minute run. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but you still bit. rocked it. Oh, thank you. But yeah, thank you for everybody that have showed up, that have supported us, that have donated, that have did everything to make this event amazing. And then, yeah, um, yeah. I'm Kelly Thanks. and I'm saying goodbye all. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, support this amazing marathon. Thank you, GDQ. Thank you, Friends with House, for having me. Um, I'm really happy that we got the incentive. And yeah, happy to be here. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, thank you both to Spice and Candy. That was absolutely fabulous. We are going to be uh, tossing it over to a uh, quick a quick video here and then we are going to be rating radioactive rats so definitely stick around long enough for that tomorrow we will be back at 2 p.m uh so you are definitely going to want to be here for the last day uh lots to watch lots to see and we will be starting off with fire emblem three houses my name is natara and i'm signing off thanks for being here friends <laughs>